Where are we? Can we? If we can go see Snack Daddy right now, we'll go see Snack Daddy. Just for you, Prezi. Okay, there's Makoto. Is this, where is Snack Daddy? Uh, wait. Uh, practice book? Wait, where's, where's Snack Daddy? I forgot. That's Ryuji. Student council room, that's Makoto, yeah? Is this, is this Snack Daddy? There's Snack Daddy, just for you, Prezi. Welcome. Hey, good work today. It's already autumn. You'd expect it to get a little less hot, huh? Oh, do you maybe have time today? If you wouldn't mind, can I borrow you for a chat? I've got snacks, too! Yeah! Hmm. It's open. It's... Is the nurse's office okay? Go... Go in ahead. We don't get, like, cutscene today. Maruki seems full of energy. It seems like his paper's coming along well. We are helping him with his research. I feel like my bond will grow stronger soon. Well, see you. It was very brief today. We gotta, we gotta strengthen our bond. We're not ready to level up our bond with Maruki yet. Ah, you're back. <gasps> Hi, Kawamami. How are you? It's Becky sending you her positive energy, Master. My grammar is perfect, but my health is not. That's why I gave you vitamins. That is my situation. Would you like to support Becky by paying 5,000 yen? Yes. We have her uh, persona and her temperance now. Are you going to have Kawakami come over? Yes, I am. Please come right away. I waited a while after responding, but she hasn't replied. I wonder why she was the one who invited me. She might be working as a maid. Let's call her from LeBanc later. Oh, uh, we have to call her from this yellow phone. Kawakami didn't reply. Try calling her directly. Nurse. This is the head nurse at Aoyama Hospital. Speaking... Oh my god! Speaking on behalf of Kawakami-sen. Kawakami-sen actually collapsed and she's been admitted to our hospital. Do you know our hospital's address? Her room number is... This isn't good. Let's head over there right away. Jeez. I told you to take everything. I gave you vitamins so this wouldn't happen, woman. Oh my god. I'm just a little overworked. No need to make a big deal about it. <laughs> but thanks for coming all this way to visit me. Uh, how could I collapse at a time like this? I really need to make some money. How am I going to make today's payment? There you are. What's going on, Miss Kawakami? I called the school, but no one answered. What? Takase-san. You contacted the school? Well, you weren't answering your phone. And when I thought you finally answered, it was a nurse who told us you were here. This nurse, just like giving out her location. It's really an inconvenience for us when you miss a payment, you know. I, for I forget the story behind these payments that she's making. Now, now, it's not like she wanted to collapse, but our credit card payment is coming up soon, so we'll need you to transfer the money. I'm sorry. These are Takase-kun's guardians. Oh, there was like a student who she was help, who she tried to help. Wasn't there like a student that got hurt and she thought like they blamed her for it and she feels guilty, so she's like paying off his parents or something like that. I forget the story exactly. These are Takase-kun's guardians, the ones I mentioned the other day. They took care of him. Who's this? He's one of my students. He came to visit me. Messing around with another student, huh? You never learned, you. Oh, they thought she was, like, messing around with a student? Yeah, right, Echo? Yeah. It was like she got blamed for something that she didn't do, 
but it was like she felt guilty and wanted to like save the students like name or something and so now she's like working two jobs and making herself sick in order to like pay his parents off something like that after all you did to him i'm sorry so when are you going to transfer the money i should be able to send it out tomorrow don't pay him scorpion oh she liked me defending her stay out of this don't act so tough, kid. Our precious adoptive son, Taiki, died because died because of this woman. Honestly, she should have been fired. Ugh, that's not... And yet, she still doesn't know her place, and she still continues to teach. We're gonna need you to show some remorse for what you did to him. In a mater material and undeniable way. I understand. I will pay you. So... It's not like we're trying to extort you. But who was it that convinced Taiki to start studying when he needed to be working? The schoolwork on top of his part-time jobs overwhelmed him, which led him to that accident. Poor Taiki. It's almost like he was murdered. So you no longer feel regret. In that case, perhaps we should sue the Board of Education. Or should we have a chat with your school? Either way, your days as a teacher would be over. Well, we're looking forward to receiving your payment. Wow, just awful people. <sighs> I have to figure out a way to make more money. I guess transferring to our sister company is the only way. Uh, sister company? It's a company affiliated with the one I'm working at now. I can make a lot more there. You can... Pretty much guess what type of services they provide, right? Oh my god. No! That's the only way I can make more money. <laughs> That's the super ultra deluxe wink wink maid service. You know what? I'm gonna stop worrying about it. The money, I'll pay it. I'll do everything Master tells me to do. Meow. <laughs> Don't meow at a time like this, Kawakami. No! His family was forcing him to be the sole breadwinner for them. Jeez! I'm so tired. All I really want is a way to apologize to Takase-kun. So if his guardians demand money, then I just have to pay them. Isn't there a... Another... Oh. It's wrong. Sorry, I'm not quite back to 100% yet, so my thoughts are all over the place. I'm going to get some rest. I appreciate you coming to visit me today. It made me really happy. I feel that Kawakami is starting to depend on me. All right. Temperance confidence has increased to rank 7. You will now earn more XP from Arcana Burst when fusing Personas of the Temperance Arcana. Oh. I'll be released first thing tomorrow morning, so don't worry. The IVs here work really well. Visiting hours are over. I'll see you later then. Get home safe, okay? Kawakami! <sighs> mm. I know. Ugh. Awful. And it's their adoptive son. It makes it even worse. Who could that be at this hour? I will save you, Kawamami. Are you free tomorrow? Why, yes, Butaba. Perfect. <laughs> you are cordially invited to go look at limited edition Featherman figures with me and nerd out. Yeah! Let us ride to Nakano. We shall sally forth into a realm of true figurine geekdom. It's me. Butaba is me. Futaba's inviting you out, so what'll it be? You're gonna go to Nakano? 
Yes. Of course I'll go. Well said. Then we're a go for Nakano tomorrow. I'll send you directions, so read them. Better take a good look at your map so you don't get lost. Nakano. Chow down, hang out, and shop to your heart's content. Nakano's got it all. Between ramen, bars, and a huge shopping complex, it's a joy to explore. All right. Sweet. Sweet. <laughs> I'm Futaba. Futaba is me. <laughs> Did you see that limited edition model? They're so high quality. Way better than cheapos. The subtle facial expressions, even the little wrinkles on the clothes. Oh, I want it so bad, but you could get sushi ten times with that kind of money. Work a part-time job? No, better start saving. Ah, saving up, huh? I guess that's the safest way to do it, but how many years of allowance would I need? Fine, I guess I'll just have to settle for staring at it. Oh, no! Okay, next up. Wait a sec. That guy's definitely bad news. I mean, I don't want to say he's Yakuza, but... Listen, let's just wait for him to leave. Don't make eye contact, okay? Don't worry. Uh... Isn't that the, the, the gun shop guy? Mm, well, look who it is. Yo. Hey, didn't think I'd bump into you here. He's talking to us, we're dead. Who's a little lady? Uh, basically my sister. Basically? Huh, sounds complicated. Still, not like I'm in a place to judge. You know this guy? He's an arms dealer. Yeah, I know this guy. Nah, nothing that dangerous. Wait, like, that military store? Oh, you know it? Uh, yeah, uh, I mean, yes, sir. Relax, kid, I don't bite. What brings you here? Oh, me and these guys go way back. They distribute some of my wares here. The toys and guns. Wares? What about that model gun in the second floor display case? Oh, uh, yeah, that's probably one of ours. The level of detailing on that one is crazy. Like, the barrel shape and even the metal texturing was perfect. That kind of authenticity is hard to find. <laughs> Whoa, you know your stuff, little lady. You ought to drop by the shop sometime. I got plenty more models for someone who can appreciate them. Really? Yeah, really. See you around. Hey, there's your part-time job, Daba. <laughs> Gun <laughs> shop daddy. He's kind of scary looking, but he seems like a nice guy. I went home after shopping with Futaba. Okay. Ah, you're back. Every time I see this lamp, I'm like, gay boy lamp. Oh my god, everybody wants to say mate. Who is this? Evening. It's oh, Lala from Crossroads. Can you take a shift today? All my regular. Do I just have like a million jobs? Can you take a shift today? All my regulars just whoosh like a big drunken tornado. And obviously, you'd get a little extra pay for it. I'm not that bad a boss. Anyhow, let me know. I see. Oh no! Everybody wants me to work today. Shop's open today, so please stop by any time. Is that the fortune teller? I don't like the fortune teller. Shop's still open. Try to stop by. I don't want to do any of those things. Oh. I am going to call Kawakami. Um. Oh, it's you. I work on Friday and Saturday evening, so you should request me then. Well, if it's just housework, maybe I could just head over to your place and get it over quickly. Bye. Oh, but if I end up working other than Friday, Saturday evenings, I'll contact you. Okay, see you. <sighs> All right. Maybe we should actually, like, hang out with our coffee dad. Yo. There's so many people. 
Hi, Aksha. You're doing well with your friends. Make sure to treat them right. You got that? Okay. Coffee did. He doesn't want to hang out. Um, the fortune teller or the gun shop guy? Wonder if we level up the gun shop guy if Futaba, like, form a relationship with him, like, work there. And then she can, fi she can uh, buy her anime figure. <gasps> cheesecake. I want cheesecake. Guts, knowledge, efficiency. Let's let's go let's go visit Gun Dad, which is weird. Oh wait, didn't Mistress Caroline want to see me? Wait. It's also this guy. Everyone. Poverty, working poor, our country's job market is terrible. Depression and suicide are on the rise, and the young workforce is being crushed on a daily basis. The evil that permeates the corporate world has filtered down into society. You. You're listening quite attentively. Are you interested in politics? No, but I'm gonna say I am. Are you a student? I'm delighted to captivate the interest of someone your age. Hmm? Have I seen you somewhere before? You were working at the beef bowl shop before. You have a lot of perseverance for a young person. If you'd like. If you're interested, I could use your help. I want to change the state of this country, and to do so, I need the power of the youth. However, due to certain regulations, I can't offer a job to a student. I was thinking you could learn some learn some things if you chose to attend a few of my speeches. I'm just gonna say yes. Really? That would be helpful indeed. Well then, would you mind telling me your name and contact information? Sure. You're a student from Shujin Academy. It's nice to meet you. I am Tora Nosuke Yoshida. <sighs> I used to be a member of the Diet, but no longer. In the past 20 years, I've lost seven straight elections. This isn't good. I'm dwelling on the negative right before my Very speech. Well. well, then, I hope I can count on your help immediately. Okay, I Everyone. just wanted... I'm holding the sign. I just wanted to, like, unlock this guy, because I think he might be one of the, like, confidants. The lines of what is considered right and wrong in society today have been blurred. With common sense no longer our guide, we make decisions based on our selfish wants and desires. This has resulted in a deluge of self-centered people who delight in taking advantage of the weak. However... The phantom thieves are so useful. However, even in this modern day and age, it is imperative that we act in the best interests of all. A world where it is acceptable to trample on the rights of others for your own benefit. A world where the young exist only to be exploited. It's a world that must be changed. Easy for him to say. Old timers like me have our hands full of taking care of ourselves. He's actually making some good points, but he's a no-name. He probably won't get too far. Nothing's gonna change. We'll just need... We'll just keep getting exploited. What's this wannabe politician blathering about now? He isn't even affiliated with a party. How about you just leave matters of state in the capable hands of the liberal co-prosperity party? You mustn't base your decision on whom to support merely according to the party they belong to. Ah, just shut up already. You're just a washed-up politician. <clears throat> If I am chosen to represent the will of the people, then I am fully prepared to. In the best interest of all, ha, huh, save the blathering for when you get elected, if you get elected. Thank it didn't you. go so well. Thank you, that is all for today. Well, what did you think of my speech? I don't remember much the heckling. Oh my god. Uh. Hi, Fiery! <laughs> I don't remember it. I see. I see. Apparently, I still have room for improvement. Such as I am, I'd like to believe that I'm capable of giving a moving speech. However, there are times, like today, when the audience has a different opinion on a topic. Some feel I should concentrate on getting elected before I worry about others. Do you agree? Yes. I believe I can, if my message connects with my audience. 
Besides, I have grown quite accustomed to those types of reactions. No. Although I don't know if that's necessarily a good thing. Regardless, no matter what they say, I must continue on. Well then, I shall see you again soon. Okay. Okay. <sighs> I found an awesome magazine! I'll bring it to the hideout. You have tomorrow off for health and sports day, right? It'll definitely get your adrenaline pumping. I really want to read it, but I'll wait till tomorrow. Oh, but if you're busy, then I'll do that first and wait. See ya! Futaba's coming here to show us a magazine tomorrow. Sounds like fun, but I'm going to bed. He sleeps with his phone in his hand. Wow, Futaba. Okay. Lots of progress made. <gasps> I've made a lot of progress with my medicine, but I'm too lazy to discuss it over chat. Can we meet up for a bit? Or are you not interested unless it's for a clinical trial? A meeting now. Maybe I should respond later. Jeez. Stop checking your phone while you're eating. Just concentrate on your food. <sighs> I don't think you like that. Come on, let's finish eating and then send a reply once we go upstairs. I want to hang out with Coffee Dad. Wow. Hey. Well, I thought Futaba was gonna come over today. Hey, under. Futaba- Oh, okay. Futaba's down here in the shop. Sounds like Futaba's here. Come on, let's go downstairs. Th th thank you, Mona. Thank you. But we gotta go see the doctor, too. Oh! All these people. The weather's gotten much cooler. We should go somewhere for once. Traveling is too much trouble. Isn't it good enough to just relax here? You're right. It's pretty nice here. We usually relax here for hours at a time. Thanks, I'll just leave what I owe you here. We always scare away the customers. There she is. Yo! Yo, I'm gonna chill here today. Even brought some PC mags to kill time. Oh, I have enough for you, by the way. There's some seriously ingenious stuff in these things. Read computer magazines with Futaba. Hey, hey! You wanna just relax and read if we're not meeting up with the others? Uh, I guess. I was gonna go see the doctor. Sure, I did I did tell her I was gonna look at her magazines with her. All right. Okay, today's a readathon. Oh my god, she's such a nerd. I love her. <laughs> Holy crap, this mouse is so big. A two-handed mouse? That's nuts. How does that even work? A two-handed mouse is a controller. And this keyboard is too curvy. How do you even type on this thing? Man, nice! This PC build competition is right up my alley! Have you ever built your own PC before, Under? It has never... Uh, I have been interested in it. Really? Really? Oh, then I've got some recommendations! We'll put together a beast of a machine. Let's pick out every component for a custom build. Oh my god. I'm gonna get her to build me a PC. We should go to Akiba together sometime, Under. I read with Futaba while discussing computers. I think my proficiency's already maxed. Yeah, it's already maxed. It's fine. It's fine. That's... It's getting pretty late. Hey. Uh, I don't want to go home yet. Do you have stuff to do after this? Uh, want some coffee? Really? Really? I'm glad I asked. Gotta love coffee. The smell alone is enough to kick the sleepies in the butt. I should let Soshi don't know. <laughs> yep, yep. Hey, Barista, the look suits you. Futaba's gaze is intense. She seems to have high expectations. <laughs> Put some love into it. We love Futaba. Oh. Such skills. When did you level up? Oh no! You tricked me! It's so strong! I'm shocked! Bitter coffee. Not bad. This is what adults like to drink, right? So one day I think it's deli- I'll think it's delicious too? I thought you liked coffee. I'm with her though, the smell is way better than the taste. We drank coffee and enjoyed a leisurely conversation. About computers and figures. And she's me. Whoa, look at the time. See you tomorrow. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, we're up to 92%. Is 
Does that mean we're 92% through this game? Sorry for messaging you all this early in the morning. It seems my father will be holding, excuse me, an urgent press conference. I guess Okumura finally had his change of heart. That has to at least lift some of the burden on Haru's shoulders. For real? Congrats! When is that going to be? 8 p.m. tonight. I wonder if he'll talk about the mental shutdowns. Where should we watch it? Why don't we get together beforehand? Sounds good. I don't really have a reason for meeting up, but it still might prove beneficial. Anyway, how does the Shujin Academy rooftop sound? I actually happen to have some business up there. Sounds good to me. It's been ages since I was last there. Wait, the school? Futaba, make sure you come in through the front entrance. See you all there after school. Hmm? Wait, Wait where's Yusuke? Oh. He's still asleep at this point. He's definitely going to be late for school. Yeah, that was weird for Yusuke not to respond. For real? The doctor's just gonna have to wait. I... <laughs> One week left until exams. You'll have no problem if you've been studying regularly this I semester. I just remembered. That aside, Okumura Foods has been a hot topic lately. This much media coverage must be worth at least 10 million yen. At first, even... I even thought that all this outcry was just some kind of elaborate marketing campaign. I guess it's giving them too much of a bad image to be that, though. Advertising and public image are more important than anything else before, for a corporation. Are you familiar with psychological tests using these images? The idea is to give the two shapes names appropriate to their appearance. Score Sen. You. People were asked to name one of these shapes Boba and the other Kiki. Which name was most commonly ascribed to shape B? Uh... Boba. This is it. Yes. Ah, that is correct. Most people named B, Boba, and A, Kiki. Sharp sounds like K and T are linked to a spiky image. According to one theory, sounds and shapes are processed in the same area of the brain. Furthermore, this sense is the same worldwide. No matter the language, the result is the same. Oh, nice going! Smart. A product's name impresses an image on people before they even use or buy it. Big Bang Burger exemplifies this. The voiced consonants and short syllables leave a strong imprint. Although, with the news these days, it may also invoke the image of the strong oppressing the weak. Mm. Even the teachers have their eyes on Okamura. Well, he should be having a change of heart, so there should be nothing to worry about. Alright, that's it for today. Yay, he's back. It's finally lunchtime. Man, I'm really in the mood for some bread today. <laughs> Cat wants bread. Hey, <gasps> can I speak with you for a moment? Hi! So about Dr. Maruki's counseling, you've already gone to see him, right? I mean, I have? I see. That's good then. I'm sure you're aware, but Dr. Maruki's term here will be ending pretty soon. <gasps> Wait, he's leaving? The higher-ups told me to make sure you've received adequate counseling. Me, specifically? Be sure to visit him so you don't bring any unwanted attention to yourself, okay? <gasps> Maruki's leaving! Eh? But anyway, let's go get lunch. Bring on the bread! We could just go see Snack Daddy and have lunch and get counseling at the same time. Uh, Senpai, so nice to see you. Wait, Snack Daddy's leaving? Prezi? I've been doing quite well. Prezi, make him stay. Lunch, senpai? If it's all right with you, would you mind eating together? Sure. Ah, how nice to see you two together. Hi. Oh, would you like to join us for lunch, Dr. Maruki? Yes. We were just discussing eating together. Are you sure? <gasps> well, 
Maybe I will. Oh, he's gonna that. eat lunch with us. Um, is that your lunch, Yoshizawa-san? She's an athlete. That doesn't really. I have to eat this much to stay active. I always burn through everything I eat. From my point of view, it's your two lunches that are the issue here. <laughs> if you're going to strengthen your body, you have to eat right. You should really work on your diets. <laughs> Touche. It is what you you're eat right. far Yours more than how much. Nutritious. You know, you seem to be giving off a different vibe lately. Yes, I was able to put my problems in the past and move on. Ah, so that's what it is. You don't seem to be overexerting yourself either. I'm sorry I had worried you. Oh, not at all. It's wonderful to hear how you've been. I must admit, I'm a bit surprised. If you don't mind my asking, was there some kind of reason for this breakthrough? Well, it's all thanks to him and his acquaintances. I suppose you could say they gave me a reason to rethink things, or more like a reason to stand up to my problems. Isn't that right, senpai? <laughs> That's right. Stand up to your problems, eh? You've grown to be very strong, Yoshizawa-san. Mm-hmm. I'm totally over it now. Sorry for talking so much. Why don't we focus on our lunches? Thanks for the food! Oh, I forgot. I have P.E. next. I should get going. Please excuse me. Yoshizawa-san really does seem to have found her footing. She seemed absolutely tormented about her situation just the other day. I have to say, this drastic She's change a is really thief not now. for a loop. Perhaps the Phantom Thieves changed her heart? Ah! A -a anything's possible! <laughs> I was just joking. I want Maruki to be a Phantom Looks Thief. Looks like time's up. You should head back to class as well. See you around. Hmm. Oh, what's wrong, Snack Daddy? You want to meet up on the rooftop after school? Roof? Oh, there's Yusuke. Rooftop? What's this about? Oh yeah, you weren't there. Can you come to our school rooftop after your classes today? I don't quite understand what is going on, but sure. Is Haru at school? I'm heading over now. Things were a little hectic this morning. I'll be there before the class ends for the day. That reminds me, your flower bed is on the rooftop. Flower bed? That's right, the season's good, so I'm thinking of transplanting them sometime soon. Flowers are an excellent hobby. I will gladly assist you. We'll help too. Really? Thanks. All right, I'll see all of you after school. <laughs> so you're the one who grew these, senpai. <laughs> yes, yeah, right. Find out what's troubling him, Prezi. <laughs> uh, I have to use the restroom, so I'm going to take a short break. Uh, please take this opportunity to also do something healthy for yourself. Get up and stretch. Rest your eyes from the screen. Get some water and hydrate. Whatever you got to do to keep yourselves happy and healthy so that we can game and we can geek longer, everybody. Okay? I'm gonna pop my socials in the chat if you want to check out any of that while I'm gone. Uh, there's my second YouTube channel as well. The uh, ending of my Golden Deer playthrough is going up on that second channel right now. And the uh, complete Endwalker, all, all of our recent Final Fantasy 14 playthroughs, um, Endwalker, the raids, 6.1, all of that is all up on that second channel as well if you wanted to watch those again. All right, uh, go take care of yourselves and I will see you shortly. Peaches, peaches for me. Beautiful peaches. Hi, look at all the, all the hugs. <laughs> Welcome, Bark. Oh, persona figures would be awesome. Are there any? 
I know there's Joker stuff. Hi, Jack. Who's a good boy? Mercury. Cutie boy. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> Some kickball. Nice. Nice. Oh my god. Look at Haru's little, like, pink pullover. That's so cute. She's so cute! Oh my gosh. So you're the one who grew these, senpai. Oh wait, I think there's voice acting. You can just call me Haru. The seasons are changing soon, so I thought it'd be nice for the plants to change as well. This time, it's a Yusuke Kitagawa production. <laughs> All I did was add some... how do I put it? Aesthetic simplicity by balancing the color placement. <laughs> Furthermore, Haru chose the flowers herself. It will surely be a great bed no matter the arrangement. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Why don't we plant you, Mona? Ha! <laughs> Weren't you a shut-in until just recently? You'd better photosynthesize while you're here. Why the, well, let's get why the animosity? Perhaps the snapdragon should go two more millimeters to the left. <laughs> That's not gonna make a difference. Hey, you it know will. how you're thinking of the school festival as our celebration party? Anyone else think we should have a real celebration on top of that? I must agree. It would be not only a celebration, but a welcoming as well. I'd like to do something among ourselves. Let's do it then. A joint party to celebrate and to welcome Haru. Oh, you don't have to do that. The school festival is more than enough. How is everyone else supposed to get excited if the star of the party's not into it? Well then, how about a night party at Destinyland? Destinyland? By Destinyland, do you mean that Kingdom of Dreams? It would be a bit late, but there are some plans that allow us to rent out the park for the night. The entire park? You're talking about the Destiny Land, right? Didn't you say you'd like to do something amongst ourselves? I did, but... Hold on, I'll go check. Could they not say Disneyland, she so they really made it Destiny like Land? A celebrity. The heck's she gonna check? Guys, it looks like it will work! You're really gonna have it at Destiny Land? Not like one of the restaurants, but the entire park? Even just for one night, the price is insane! Oh, that won't be a problem. We had originally booked it for a company party, then had to call it off because of the scandal. We'd barely get anything back if we canceled the reservation, so why not take advantage of it? Nice! Wouldn't that be oddly conspicuous, though? It's still officially under the company's name. We needn't worry. In that case, let's do this. We'll just celebrate twice as hard today. I'm sorry for disrupting everyone. You did come to help me after all. Well, let's get back to it. So, uh, seriously, how much does it cost? <laughs> for real? For real? We'll be having our celebration at Destiny Land tonight. All right. <laughs> yes. No, this is not Disneyland at all. <laughs> For real? Ryuji with like the bear ears. Utaba with the little like top hat and ears. Oh my god. The food was arranged on my plate as though it were paint on a canvas. Staff brought out this table and food her just with for her us. Bowl huh? and her kitty ears. I thought if we were going to dine together, it would be better to do it somewhere with a view. The VIP hey, life is incredible. Hi, Lily. Not that I'd expect anything else from a private rental. There really is no one else here. We are the rulers of the Kingdom of Dreams. Is this lighting just for our sake as well? That's right. It's beautiful. It's not as beautiful as you. That's the kind of stuff couples say, right? <laughs> Almost anyone would fall for that line in front of a site like this. 
Lady On, this view is not as beautiful as... <laughs> Come on, you guys are getting way too excited about this stuff. <sighs> you say that like you're not tapping into your inner child too, Ryuji. This is just because Futaba kept nagging me to put him on. I did not. You said something like that. Don't fight in those. Fighting brings you closer. Ryuji, you're the adult. Ryuji is not the adult. Uh... That's a good way of putting it. I wonder if that has to do with where we are. <laughs> My, this is so heartwarming. Honestly, I would have liked to see the parade as well. But given how sudden the request was, they couldn't get enough staff together to do it. Perhaps that will have to wait until next time. Either way, this party's totally the best one so far. It's freaking amazing! I'm glad to see you're enjoying it. Be careful, Haru. You've shown these guys what luxury means. <laughs> this will really raise the bar for our next celebration party. You're already talking about our next party? Don't you think that's somewhat premature? <laughs> For serious, you guys. Still, how do I put this? I met Mona-chan. I got to know you all. Isn't everything going a little too perfectly? It's actually a bit frightening. You worry too much. I must just be overly cautious because of my circumstances up till recently. I'm sorry for bringing it up. Hey, isn't it almost time? You know, for the press conference? No, oh, perfect timing! Father. Aww. Thank you all for taking time out of your busy schedules to gather here. Your Today, fight, your fight like sucks, sir. On the whole truth behind my company's labor situation. I almost rage quit the game of his fight how my employees were forced to work under severe conditions how lax we were with sanitation and how my corporation acted as a whole to cover up every facet of this scandal for all of this i wholeheartedly apologize So are you saying all of this was done under your Space orders? Space Port of Greed. Yes. I am solely responsible. We heard that dozens of your employees were forced to resign due to mysterious illness. Furthermore, these happened to be officials who stood against your proposal for overseas expansion. The same thing also happened to executives at competing companies who were looking to expand abroad. Is all of this true? Yes. Was it all coincidence? We'd like some answers. About that. I have a critical piece of information to announce here today. Here it comes. Okuma is going to say who's really behind the mental shutdowns. I... Uh-oh. Whoa! Okumaro san? Okay, that's never happened before. Broken. Why did he collapse? That didn't look right at all. <sighs> Don't tell me. Monachan, what's going on? No, that's impossible. We did everything the same. You're right. We followed all the same steps. We made sure we just took the treasure, too. <sighs> I should call home. This, this isn't our fault, is it? It's been okay all four times so far, ever since Kamoshida. Has there only been the four? shadow live, the real person won't undergo mental shutdown, right? That's how it should work. 
Yeah, it's gotta be. <sighs> What's wrong? Th this is the same. I remember now. It's just like what happened to my mom. So this is the moment when mental shutdown occurs. But why did they target Okumura-san? Damn it! What the hell's going on here? Um, I have to go. I'll talk to the staff before I leave. Feel free to take your time. Haru! This ain't our fault, right? I'd like to think so. Some welcoming party, huh? I'll get in contact with Haru later. But for today, I think we should all return home. It's been a while. What are you watching? That's... <coughs> this is just a hypothesis. But perhaps Okumura was bitten by his lapdog. Are you implying that the Phantom Thieves triggered a sudden mental shutdown on Okumura? There might have been a falling out of sorts, so the Phantom Thieves abandoned a useless employer. And to cover their tracks, they dealt with Okumura. I hate to bring this up, but I'm actually here about that. Did you find any evidence? No. Actually, there's a chance that the party behind these aren't the Phantom Thieves, but someone else. How do you mean? You were suspecting the Phantom Thieves as well. It is still hypothetical at this point, but I don't want to rule it out. We're searching the Okumura residence tomorrow. Same with Shujin and its principal. We will find evidence on this, no matter what it takes. By the way, I wanted to ask you something. Yes? You haven't looked at my laptop or taken files from it without my permission, Ooh. have you? That's quite out of the blue. There were traces that someone transferred data from it. It was only a small error pop-up, but I noticed it immediately after I had that argument with you last month. And that's why you suspect me? Oh, please, give me a break. Are you saying you didn't? As a detective not myself, I honor not the value didn't. of information, as well as the effort invested in it. I take pride in what I do. I thought you of all people would understand such values, sai son. I apologize. He did it. But then, who stole my data? <sighs> I let my guard down. They're mine. I'm the one who will catch them. There was some other, like, entity or evil phantom thief or something. Like, we saw them very briefly here and there doing stuff. Whoa, WTF? That was all an act, right? Beep, beep, beep. So, about Haru's dad, uh, the news said it was a cardiac arrest. There's a chance he'll pull through, right? I hate to say this, but usually after such a report, the only thing that follows is a confirmation of death. No! Haru, why is this happening? Can someone die simply from having a mental shutdown? I don't know. I suppose it's possible the shock could kill a person. Haru did mention how her father wasn't in the best of health. But for him to just up and die? This has got to be some kind of joke. Are we responsible for his death? But I thought it was supposed to be fine as long as we didn't kill their shadow. Ain't that what you said, Morgana? It should have been okay. It should have been. What do you know, Morgana? He says it should have been okay. Yeah, there's no point getting mad at Mona for this. I heard the same thing too, you know. In any case, let's compose ourselves for now. We need to act normally in public. But keep Haru in our minds. Damn it, this doesn't make any sense. Why he suffered a mental shutdown is one thing. But what are we supposed to do from here on out? What was with, like, the black ink, too? Haru's gonna be fine, right? No, probably not. <sighs> we didn't do anything differently this time, so why? 
Let's go to bed. No way! Poor Haru, to see your own father like that, how could something so horrible happen? No. Damn it, I'm thinking in circles. I can't focus today, so I'm just gonna go to sleep. <sighs> what in the world's going on? What'd you do, Mona? Mm. Igor, tell us what's going on. On your feet, inmate. Our master has an important matter to discuss with you. Heed his words well. Yes, Justine. First, I'd like to congratulate you for expelling the one proud of their greed. Or so I'd like to say, but something odd seems to have happened. Yeah. What happened? Who knows? However, Thanks, Igor. Don't you sense it? The malicious will of another. It seems a contingency has occurred. At this rate, your rehabilitation cannot be completed. Though I doubt that will be the case. No! I truly look forward to seeing how you overcome this particular... You're not gonna give me anything, Igor? He did say the presence of another. I feel like my bond with Igor is growing deeper. Igor, you were no help! All right. We shall meet again. Time's up, inmate. Yes, Mr. Scaroline. and return to your world. Yes, Mr. Scaroline. Igor was no help. No! Oh, our approval rating went true? way down. Did you hear? Okamura died. It's all over the news. He collapsed during his press conference, right? I wish I'd been watching when it happened. God, this guy. You're probably better off. It was a total disaster. I never imagined seeing a heart attack would be so unsettling. The news says it was because of illness, but either way you spin it, it's still bizarre. Damn, wish I'd seen it live. These kids are grim. Our value went so far down! Listen this time, okay? And in this age, proletarian literature, that is, literature written by the working class... Did you see that interview? I thought it was gonna be some hidden camera show at first. I was so scared, I changed the channel. He really looked like he was in pain. That was sick. Will you quiet down? We're in class right now. Not to mention, you have midterms starting on Monday. Focus on studying. <sighs> Things are getting pretty bad. Seems the police have shown up at our school. The police? What for? Your sister hasn't told you about any of this? Nothing at all. Could this be related to Okamura's death in some way? But there's no connection between our school and Okamura Foods. Think they came to talk to Haru? She's absent today. Then seriously, what are they here for? I can't be even begin to fathom the reason. Anyhow, let's be particularly careful not to stand out and head straight home when school ends. Understand that, everyone? But I gotta go see the doctor! <sighs> we haven't found anything useful as evidence. I see. <sighs> we were hoping to find something more than the calling card, too. We've confirmed the victim's connection to the Phantom Thieves, at least. Thank you for your cooperation. Beep, beep, beep. Speaking, huh? They found a calling card in the principal's office, too. Yes. I'm sorry to ask again, but your father hadn't said anything about the Phantom Thieves, correct? That's right. Please contact me if something catches your attention. It doesn't matter how trivial it seems. You don't have to force yourself, though. Just anything that comes to mind. Poor the Haru. Principal. No one told me about that. That was... Oh! That was the other Phantom Thieves. Oh. 
So basically, your group didn't go after Okumura's life. And even the death of Shujin's principal, who we found a calling card for, was the work of another. <sighs> you don't sound like you're lying. If you wanted to deceive me, you could have easily woven up a much simpler lie than this metaverse. Moreover, your account coincides with my own investigation. Is that even possible if it were made up? And I hate to admit, but... With my line of work, I know a false testimony when I hear one. Still, if you set your sights on Okumura based on my intel, it'd be before his name was even ranked. You could have ignored him and targeted some other famous person. Why would you go so far as to further investigate and pursue this criminal? <laughs> Simple enough. There's still no proof bad. that another suspect exists. That said, it's safe enough to say that you aren't the murdering type. All right. But with the subsequent deaths of Okumura and Shujin's principal, the public's opinion changed. Pressed to prove your innocence, your next objective was... Hmm? What's the matter? <gasps> Is it a side effect? What in the world did the police inject into you? No. Uh. Uh. Oh. Hey, hey, can you, can you hear, me? hear me? You need to stay focused. Underscore. Her name's Underscore. <sighs> Don't scare me like that. If what you're saying is true, you must tell your side of the story to the end. We'll both be in trouble if your testimony becomes unreliable. Oh god, unreliable. we're going to die at the end of this, are we? <sighs> Well then, let's move on. At last we arrive at your most recent crime. Oh. You know what I mean, don't you? This calling card was delivered to your latest target. The one you had decided would prove your innocence. It was addressed to Sai Nijima. Myself. Oh. Now, explain everything to me. We were gonna change her heart? What? What, why did we why were we gonna like faint? Has anyone been able to contact Haru? I haven't. No luck here. Me neither. She won't pick up. It doesn't look like she's seen any of our chats either. I'm worried about her. I hope Haru's okay. Not okay. Because of me, Haru's wrapped up in this mess. I never imagined this is what would happen. Prove your justice to society. Coffee Dad, can we just- can I just go to school and make this about coffee? Hey. Have you been talking with Butaba? Has she said anything? About what? And now, an update on the sudden death of Mr. Okumura last night. Today, the police investigated President Okumura's home and other places he had visited. They're looking into whether this was a crime or an accident, but the cause of death remains unknown as of now. Oh, yeah. Sounds like the police even went to your school. What are they going to do? Hey, hey. Okay, we have to lay low. Well, Kawamami hey. can come to us. Ah, <laughs> darn. Now listen up. What do you want to do? I guess. Make sure you close up. We'll study. We can't go out. We have to stay wow. here. <laughs> Is that knowledge? Yeah. Well then. All right, we got some knowledge. Vote no on murder. Too bad, it had to happen. Is there an illness that could cause that? Nah, no way. So it was murder? That's terrifying. This might be the biggest event of the century. Oh my god! 
going even more down. We have to prove our innocence. Oh, Undercoon? I'm gonna sneeze. Ah. Excuse me. <clears throat> My apologies for messaging you so early in the morning. Things have calmed down a bit at home, so I thought there's something I need to tell you. What's the matter? Um, there's actually something that's caught my attention. I think I need to discuss it with everyone, though. We should meet at the hideout after school. It looks like Haru is managing. Somehow. Alright. Let's meet up with everyone after school. How are we going to school? What? Our stonks are falling, RJ. Ugh. Was Okamura murdered? But that was a live broadcast, wasn't it? If it wasn't illness, then it had to be murder. If something happened to an the honor student, she seems different now. I still, I feel bad for him going out like that. With this, preparations are finally in place. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> the public has praised them as allies of justice before they strike them back to the ground. Now then, she'll be next. Yes, I've already spoken to Human Resources about it. It will be a heavy responsibility. No, he's not sus, he's evil. But I'm certain it'd be an honor for her. Uh... The culprits behind the mental shutdown cases she's been pursuing all this time. <laughs> Indeed. They'll become the criminals we've set them up to be. Just as you instructed. <laughs> we don't know who he's talking to, right? I'm evil. We must build a society in which the young can be hopeful of a brighter tomorrow and... It's so damn loud. Hmm? Where's Haru? She's the one that called us, so she'll show up eventually. Well, even though things have calmed down, she must be occupied with what happened to her father. Wait, what? But what's up? People are posting that we killed President Okumura. That's why our ratings are tanking. So it's begun already. What? Think about it. The CEO collapsed the way he did during an apology conference that our group caused. Yeah, that was not a good look. Still! They were raving about us so much, and now they just treat us like murderers? What a lightning fast change of attitude. They don't know That's a damn takes. thing about our situation. Calm down. Not everyone is necessarily saying that. But there's no way to vindicate no, ourselves. We still got like 64%. <laughs> Haru! Our Twitter I'm just sorry, lost Nate. a lot of I'm followers the one who that asked day. You all to make time for me, too. My condolences. Must be rough. I'm okay now. Um, I called yeah, um, she's got the Marianne, there was something um. worrying me. Did you all target the principal? Is her voice Marianne's voice? Huh? The principal? You mean ours? Yes. What makes you say that? Yesterday, a public prosecutor came to my home. It is um, Marianne. It was a woman named Mijima-san. That's... I overheard her saying a calling card was found in the principal's office. Considering that this was right after what happened, it's got to be Shujin's. It's the first I've heard of it! Doesn't this all seem weird to you? It may just be my imagination, but I feel as if... things are escalating far too quickly after President Okumura's incident. What do you mean? Perhaps... We may have been set up by the real culprit. For real? For real? That could be. Then we need to catch them as soon as possible. Hold a moment. Can we assume we've been set up, though? We don't even know their objective. What else are we supposed to do, then? Let's all calm down for a moment. From what Haru said... Even the police are suspecting that the Phantom Thieves are murderers. It wouldn't be wise to carelessly make a move at the moment. We need to act as normal students for now. In addition, we have midterms next week. Exams? At a time like this? 
I envy you, Futaba. Futaba? Hmm? Got something on my mind. Gonna go home and look into it. <laughs> I wonder what that could be. At any rate, we need to behave and not draw attention to ourselves. Understood? I love Haru's little, like, flowered leggings. She is? Oh my gosh. I would not have made the connection if she wasn't doing the, um... I was like, wait! That's a Marianne thing. Huh? <laughs> You're gonna drink every time Ryuji says for real. That's right. For real. Drink. For real? <laughs> <laughs> Does it count if Morgana says it? I'm gonna drink anyway. Hey, Gabby. They found the calling card on a principal on the principal, but that's impossible. Does that mean somebody's like forging uh, Yusuke's art? Oh my God, Mishima! This is ridiculous. Why are people doubting the Phantom Thieves over what happened to President Okamura? They'd never do such a thing. Isn't that right? Absolutely. Yeah, I trust them. Anyway, it seems like everyone's forgotten all that they've done up to this point. That won't stop me, though. I'll continue cheering them on. Make sure you tell them that. Well, see you later. Mishima is a bit narrow-sighted, but he's a good person deep down. We can't betray him. Hell no. Never. Never. What do you think, Coffee Dead? Oh, no. school. You're studying diligently? Yeah. Hey, hey. Oh my gosh. Ah! Hey. No. Ah, oh, man. Is Futaba going to investigate? I don't know. But seriously. We're saying the Phantom Thieves murdered Okamura and we sent a calling card to your principal? You have to be kidding me. How could they accuse us of that? Act like an honest student. Get ready for midterms. Okay, so more study. I forgot my bag this time. Now listen up. What do you want to do? Let's Make sure study. You close up. Can I talk? The other day, I saw on TV... Oh, didn't mean to distract you. I'll stay quiet. Morgana just watching me. Oh, Gabby, good luck. <laughs> Alright, more knowledge. Point, point up! Wait. Oh, no, that's just well, more points. He studies with the sunglasses on. Oh my god. They even steal lives? Man. I'm sorry for worrying, all of you. I won't be able to respond for a little while longer. You don't need to mind us. More importantly, are you doing all right? I'm okay. I'm more worried about the people at the company, to be honest. It seems everyone's having difficulty with not only clients, but the press as well. They're even handling the preparations for my father's funeral. I just feel so guilty that I'm unable to help out at all. You shouldn't. Everyone understands this is a trying time for you. And we're here if anything happens. I know. I'll get in touch once things settle down. Don't push yourself. Thanks. Talk to you later. Bless that girl. Worrying about others even at a time like this. I bet they killed Okamura to make an example Impossible. out of him. Why else would they kill him during a press conference? I read somewhere that Okamura raised his daughter alone. Maybe he wasn't a great manager, but as a parent, I feel for him. Murdering someone to make a point is textbook terrorism. Like Shido and that Akechi kid say, the Phantom Thieves are a menace. <sighs> it was not our fault. Have we been cheering on murderers all this time? It has to be a setup. The Phantom Thieves aren't like that. 
They have to endure that harsh training every day. I feel a bit sorry for them. I believe in the Phantom Thieves. They wouldn't do that. Thank you. Oh, the gymnast girl? Yeah, she changed in a good way. In a good way. <laughs> I was clear. We're in Death Note territory now. Oh my god, this was all light. Who on earth set us up? Does anyone have any ideas? Of course not. I say, if bleh, if I were to guess, I would say the culprit behind the mental shutdowns. Wait, how do we even know we got set up to begin with? They found a calling card in Principal Kobay Kobayakawa's office. Someone else had to have planted that, obviously. In the worst case scenario, it's possible they know our identities. This is bad, guys. Yes, our state of affairs is looking quite bleak. Let's prove our innocence. How are we going to do that, though? It looks like our only choice now is to find the true culprit. Although we don't have any leads. Damn it, why has this got to happen to us? Because you're anime protagonist. <sighs> Wish we could prove our innocence, but we can't afford to make a dumb mistake and get ourselves caught. We'll just have to keep laying low and wait. Let's not do anything conspicuous, okay? Hey, sorry for bringing this up when things are so chaotic. I know it's been tough after what happened to President Okamura and all, but this is the perfect time for smaller changes of heart to restore your reputation. Anyway, here's the info I have. If true, this one's pretty crazy. Apparently an ex-mercenary who works as an assassin is hiding out in Shibuya Underground. He acts like a homeless person during the day, but then goes about his work at night. He hasn't left any trace of his identity, though, so there's nothing the police can do. Hey, everyone's gotta work. Sounds dangerous. Right? I can't breathe easy knowing he's out there. Well, according to the rumors, his name is Yohei Kiritani. I'm seriously scared. I don't want anything to do with this. I'm leaving this to you, peachy party! Yeah! <laughs> Mishima really does get some amazing info for us sometimes. Our reputation may have taken a hit after Okamura's death, but we can still prove our justice in mementos. We should discuss this with everyone when we have time. Oh, and we can go... Uh, we have to go meet up with Haru before we can go in. The killer who cleans up trash. Oh. Well, he's cleaning up trash. Exams are coming up. Have your studies been going well? I can give you a general idea of what they were like when I was a second year. What do you think? Want to study together? I gotta go see the doctor! And Ahn just wants to hang out or whatever. <laughs> can I see the doctor? There's no one here. It feels like a day off because I don't have many patients today, but it's raining, so I may get an influx of people with colds. So what do you want today? I thought you had, like, an update or something. But sure, let's do a clinical I trial. Apologize. Oh, sorry, I haven't finished setting up for the clinical trial yet. Oh! She just denied me. Okay. All right, An wants to hang out. Makoto wants to be responsible and study. Um, I guess... Makoto. Yeah, let's study with Makoto. Library. I'm going to drill it into you, so prepare yourself. Oh, goodness. Okay. Yes, Mistress Makoto? Hey! Trying difficult problems is good, but the most important thing is your fundamentals. Well, how are they? Uh, good, I think. Whoa, has studying with Makoto deepened your understanding? Thanks, Mona. Man! <laughs> Getting back to the basics is necessary when you're lost in both studying and regular life. This is a great opportunity for me to review as well. Thanks. Okay, let's try a few more complicated problems now. All right then. <laughs> Study you. Yo. I hear the Phantom Thieves killed someone. It's all over the news. Hey. 
I wonder if that Yoshida guy is giving a speech in Shibuya again today. I do not care about him. I'm thirsty for info. I'm thirsty for some info. I can turn even the most trivial info into an article. Come on, it's time for my source to shine. Are you gonna stop by? Oh yeah, seems to be waiting for you at the bar. You wanna go see her? Wait, this is Friday. Doesn't Kawamami work tonight? Are we still laying low? Can I have my maid girlfriend over? Yes! Hi! This is Becky! Oh, wait, it's you. <laughs> I love that. Oh, wait, it's you. Have you gotten used to city life yet? Wait, you've been here more than six months, huh? Time sure passes more quickly each year. Does your room need cleaning, or did you need me to cook for you? I provide all sorts of services. Are, are, you, are you now performing the super ultra deluxe wink wink maid service? But, um, there's stuff I need to talk to you about, so would you request me? <laughs> yes. Hey. 5,000 yen. That's only 50 bucks. I'll head over right now. I'll be heading over right away then. Please wait for me, master. There was no heart after the master. I'm taking away hey, 100 yen. Hey. There's the heart. I actually really like the antique feel of this room. But I have to say goodbye to it today. <gasps> no. Um, the thing is, I've decided to quit. My boss found me a part-time job that pays better than this one. Takase-kun's guardians keep increasing their demands. So this is just what I have to do. What? Is this what you want? What I want? Takase-kun's guardians say the only true way to apologize to Takase-kun is by paying them. That's so sketchy. <laughs> but who's going to not do my chores now, Kawakami? If that's not true, then what's the right thing to do here? I wonder if I can escape all this if I quit being a teacher. People like me have no right being a teacher. If I quit on my own, I won't have to pay them. That's why I'm going to quit both my teaching job and my maid job. What do you think? I need my teacher, Kawakami! <laughs> you always seem to make things about you. If I could only follow my own path like you do. Now that I think about it, it's too late for me to stop being a teacher. If I really felt bad for what happened, I wouldn't have resigned. I would have resigned the day he died. And yet, I still feel I need to teach. I wonder why I feel that way even now. Because you want to help people. That's your answer. Scorcoon. Oh, that's right. I decided the way to apologize to him was to make sure there won't ever be another student like him. Because I might have been able to save him if I hadn't been afraid of rumors or labels back then. I wanted to become a teacher who takes care of her students. That's the mindset I had. But now I spend all my free time at part-time jobs just so I can continue working as a teacher. I put the critical work of a teacher on the back burner so I could make apology money. That's where it all went wrong. I can't make things right with Takase-kun like this. Mistakes can be fixed. I'll be the teacher I aspire to be. That's the right way for me to make amends to Takase-kun. From here on, I refuse to pay them any more money. And that is my answer. Well, what do you think? Be confident in your answer. You're right. <laughs> you can't get the right answer from someone else. It can only be found from within. I learned that from you. In a way, you're my teacher. Ha, just kidding. I feel Kawakami's trust in me strengthening. Yay! All right. I've been so worried about making money that I haven't been paying attention to my students, especially to you. I averted my eyes from you because you were labeled just like Takase-kun was. But from now on, I'm going to protect you too. As your teacher, I will never betray you. <gasps> I want to protect you! 
she she liked that. Hi, Wing! We gotta hydrate. We're thirsty for Kawamami. <laughs> that kind of line only works from someone old enough to handle his own household chores. I clean before you come over. <laughs> but thanks. I'll speak with the Takases. I'm not going to run anymore. Everything should be fine as long as I talk to them face to face. All right, it's time for me thanks. to go. Thank you. See you later. But Good you night. didn't clean anything. <laughs> Has she ever dusted once? Oh, is this Master? Thank you so much for today. Oh, wait. I was supposed to stop working as Becky by today. <laughs> to be honest, I always kind of knew in my heart I couldn't go on like this forever. But I felt so stuck facing it alone. It's thanks to you that I actually figured out what I need to do. I'll do any- I don't know if I'll do anything for you. Is- is that coming off a little strong? Or just, you're welcome. Is this- is this too strong? Is she gonna like this? I don't know. Bye, Gabby. Good luck. I'll do anything for you. <laughs> Come on, you realize you can't feed me lines like that anymore? But I haven't given you any proper appreciation yet, so thank you, really. Get to bed early tonight. Lack of sleep is basically poison for your body and mind, okay? Good night. <laughs> but you didn't cook anything. Catchy was right. No. No. This sucks. I wonder when Okamura san will start coming back to school. I know the funeral soon. It must be tough organizing the funeral for a big wig CEO. Okamura san is usually pretty quiet. Do you think she's okay? Hard to believe the dad of such a nice girl could be so evil. I didn't expect this from the Phantom Thieves. That was a full-blown public execution. Oof. Scorcoon, please come to the student guidance office. Scorcoon, please come to the student guidance office. Are we hey. gonna make out in the student guidance office? <laughs> that sounded like Kawakami. I wonder what's up. Sorry. Sorry to pull you out of class, but it's about Takase-kun's guardians. I told them that I'm not going to pay them any more money. I'm quitting my part-time job, too. Although I'm still in talks with my boss about it. I'm going to devote myself to being a great teacher, no matter what others say, I won't waver. So thank you for giving me such good advice. I just thought you should be the first to know. Ms. Kawakami... Oh, Miss Kawakami, you have guests. The Takases are here. Oh, God. What? They're here at the school? How long are you going to make us wait? Tch, him again. You know it, lady! <laughs> How rude. I guess a student is only as good as his teacher. Obviously, you lack a proper education. You thought you could just call and say you're not going to pay anymore? Who do you think you are? You know... It's what I've decided, for Takase-kun's sake. I'm going to make sure there won't be any more students like him, who... So, so you're just going to get out of your responsibility? I bet you don't even care about Taiki. How are you still a teacher? Maybe we should really sue... Maybe we really should sue the Board of Education. Are you okay with that? A teacher who caused her student to die would surely cause a scandal. I'm not going to run or hide. I'm going to spend my time taking care of my students. If you want to take legal action, then go ahead. Regardless, I'll continue teaching. I've decided that that's the best apology I can make to Takase-kun. Paying money to you two is not the solution, to say the least. Yeah, you tell them! Hmm. Along with suing you, maybe I should tell everyone about your little secret. You know, about your little stint as a sex worker. What? How did you... 
Oh, so I'm right, am I? What? I mean, the amount of money you're paying us can't come from just a teacher's salary. Well, shall we head on over to the faculty office? Stop, please. Huh. A teacher working in the sex industry? You've definitely done it this time. How unfortunate for you that you thought you could just leave Taiki's matter unsettled. You know what you have to do now, right? Pay up, and don't ever call us again with this garbage about stopping the payments. Don't! Uh, I guess I can't quit my part-time job just yet. No! You can't give up. I know. But what am I supposed to do? What about the phantom thieves? Would they even help someone like me? No, that's impossible. <sighs> Kawakami appears to be deeply hurting. I need to do something. I can't do this anymore. I need their names. Who, the Takases? The husband is Toshio-san, and his wife is Hiromi-san. I could never forget them. I send them money every week. Wait, why? You don't intend on doing something, do you? Please don't. A Shujin teacher asking the Phantom Thieves for help would be... I'm sorry. I was so excited to tell you what I had decided, and then it ended up like this. Just forget everything, okay? If you think about it, I'm right back where I started. I guess I'll never be able to change. Yeah. <laughs> Class is about to start. I need to go. <sighs> I need to do something about the targets for Kawakami. A teacher ma made to suffer. <laughs> Anyone got some spare death notes? No, what we do is better. God, now, now I want to watch Death Note again. Hey, Manic! Oh yeah, I'm having a blast. Oh my gosh, we had to help her! Uh, she wasn't a sex worker. She was. She said that she might have to consider doing that. The the maid service isn't. I mean, I. It's not. She's just cleaning houses. <laughs> Things are looking rough online. They're just calling us a bunch of murderers. All the celebrities who supported us are being criticized now, too. It's all gone up in flames. People are posting about this stuff everywhere. I highly doubt that anyone who supported us did so honestly. There must have been many who simply went with the winning side. I get mixed feelings about this when you put it that way. It does make me rethink a lot of things. That aside, we need to deal with our situation first. Our state of affairs continues to worsen can't just sit back and watch this happen. Still, we can't make a move when we don't have any leads. What are we supposed to do then? Right around when your exams end will be the perfect timing. Uh, for what? Don't worry about it. Anyway, just wait and see what happens. Futaba, she's gonna hack the planet behind the scenes. For the time being, let's discuss things after our exams end. Ugh, there's no way I can focus on exams like this. Can you ever? Hey, are you listening? Are you listening to me? You, pay attention. Is that how you listen when someone's talking to you? I feel a murderous intent. No! Ha <laughs> ha! Dodge the chalk. Epic dodge! I am a ninja. Hey! Yes. Yes. My name is Underscore. <laughs> People are saying terrible things about us, calling us murderers. Oh my god, there's so many people, I forgot about this kid. Shinya. Shusuke, or Yusuke wants to study. Man, I will study with Yusuke. That's right, she does sexy work, <laughs> not sex work. Now she'll be fine as a teacher. LeBlanc is so comfortable. 
My mind works at a faster pace here, thus helping me progress in my studies at a marvelous rate. <laughs> Think it's the coffee? That might be the case, but I bet it's really because you two are studying together. All the knowledge. Yes. History is truly my best subject. It is necessary for grasping the nature of art, after all. Now then, I will answer any questions you have. Cooperation is part of the thrill of studying. I'm having trouble with this part in particular. Let us part ways here. I believe I somewhat overstayed my welcome. See you later. I saw Yusuke off to the train station. Mm. So, the Phantom Thieves are murderers. I guess all the praise they got before doesn't amount to much now. Man. Oh my gosh, I haven't spent any time with her. Kifumi, I forgot about her. Sure. Let's, let's, let's play... She's like the Go Master, right? That's gonna up my knowledge, yeah? Oh? Kifumi's talking to a woman. She seems troubled again. Are you? What are you gonna do? Are you gonna talk to her? Yes. That's right, your next opponent will finally be a professional. My client's a big shot in the Pro Shogi Players Association, so I work... Uh... I work really hard to set it up. That's... but... Is this young man a fan of yours, Hifumi? No, Mother. He's my Shogi friend. I told you about him, remember? Your Shogi friend, hmm? Let me just say this. I hope you're not harboring any weird feelings for Hifumi. Huh? Mother! As I'm sure you're already aware, you are not allowed to date, young lady. You've started to attract a number of new male fans with all of your photo spreads. Yes. Yes, mother. You can get 50 guys like him once you're famous. I need you to accomplish the things I was never able to. Oh god, one of those moms. Be everything I never was when I was a kid because I'm dissatisfied with my life and so now I have to force my children to be what I wish I was. Now I'm going to work. Don't wait up for me. I understand. Sorry. I apologize. That must have been quite a shock. <laughs> She's scary. <laughs> that was quite honest of you. Not altogether inaccurate, though. My father is ill and unable to work, so my mother supports us. My mother used to be a local TV announcer, but she had to quit to take care of my father. My father was a pro shogi player. He, he's usually calm, but when he played, you could really feel his spirit. He never hesitated when making a move, just like a king. I really admired him, so I started playing shogi too. But after pouring everything he had into shogi, he suddenly collapsed one day. In my mother's eyes, shogi stole both her dream and her husband. And yet she tells me to keep playing. She wants me to achieve her dreams. I should be working to help support us. I want to become a professional so that I can make enough money to ease my parents' burden. Um... I do photo shoots and interviews, hoping they'll add some money to our household income. But it's honestly quite difficult for me. Have you told your mother? Well, she's certainly enjoying dealing with the media again after such a long time. However... No one sees me as a shogi player anymore. They no longer recognize my skills. I'm not playing shogi in the hopes of becoming an idol. I simply love my family, and I want to support them through our troubles. I know this maid service who's looking for a new employee. This isn't good. I shouldn't be focusing on such negative topics before a match. Well then, let's play. Today I'm going to be throwing a lot of offensive moves at you. This will teach you how to escape from disadvantage, disadvantageous situations. I feel Hifumi's trust in me growing. <laughs> Uh, yeah, man, and usually, usually the parents who are trying to live out their own youth that they feel they missed out on through their kids, uh, don't actually admit that, right? <laughs> Excuse me, Scorcoon is a catch, right? Ella, I love you so much. How are you, my darling? Boop. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. I hope you're doing wonderful. I love your face. <laughs> exactly, Manic. Yeah, I'm just doing what's best for my child when really, no, they're doing what's best for them. Kakui Kuzushi allows you to attempt an escape even when surrounded by the enemy. Oh, cool. All right. Nice. Are you ready? That aura. My right eye is twitching. Now it's time to unleash my hidden evil eye. I'll start. Now to a fair match. That didn't sound like the start of a fair match. Knowledge. Perfect. See? Got my knowledge. I didn't have to stu study time. with An. An's gonna fail because I didn't study with her. Oh, that wasn't so bad. Let's continue our lessons next time. Oh my god. <gasps> Thank you, Ella! It's, it's fading nicely. I like it. Oh, hello. Do you have a moment? I apologize for my mother's rude behavior earlier. She's been on edge lately. My male fans are beginning to concern her. She didn't mean to offend you at all. I hope you'll accept my apology in her place. No worries. Thank you. Oh, I didn't get any points for no worries. I'll be sure to talk to her about you. Is that a good idea? No doubt my lack of skill is what caused my mother to be so hypersensitive. I intend to improve my skill so I can become an established player and put my mother at ease. So then, let us both work hard for our goals. Goodbye for now. Man, I just want to save everyone. <sighs> so if you guys didn't know, you can click on someone's name now, and, and in their little card that pops up, there's a follow button right there. If all of you could click on Ella's name and make sure you're following her. That would make me and Peachy Chan very happy. Because she's amazing. And has the coziest stream ever. And she's gonna cosplay Riku, and I'm gonna cosplay Riku, and we're gonna uh, be Riku twins. <laughs> we're gonna make it happen. Absolutely. I just I just went to an anime convention for the first time in two years on Friday and cosplayed Riku, and it was so much fun. Riku loving Riku lovers, that's right. Ella's gonna be female Riku, I'm gonna be male Riku, and it's gonna be hot. <laughs> I still owe you guys an Aerith cosplay. It would be Riku squared. Can I bother you for a moment? Now that the funeral's over, it feels like a small burden has been lifted from my shoulders. Oh, this poor girl. There's never too much Riku. No Mora! has put four Rikus in the same game, so Nomura himself has said there's never enough Riku. Maxing all the confidants is doable, but not likely. I, I didn't think it was going to be likely at this point. I've only maxed one, uh, which does make me feel a little bad because I leave some of these friends hanging. I know, right? I just like, kind of have to decide who I want to help the most, and that feels really bad. I have to like concentrate on one at a time. And of course we have to we have to max Kawamami. The only one I've maxed is Mishima. Are you alright? I am. I actually feel bad having everyone worry about me. How about you? Are you doing okay? I'm managing. You sure are strong. I'll come back, don't worry. I think I'll be able to rejoin everyone around when exams end. Um <laughs> um Marianne, um. Well, see you. Haru. She typed she's up. the one who should be in pain right now. Yet she's still trying to cheer us up. Oh, So sweet. <gasps> Thank you, Emerald Knight. You won't regret it. Well then. Your exams start tomorrow, don't they? You should just focus on those for now. We'll get over... We'll get to work once your exams are over. Yeah, but who wants to hang out? Oh! That's a doctor. I want to help her too. We're almost we're close on her. Have you been taking care of your body? A lot of my patients have suddenly become ill lately. So you're okay? I can examine you if you'd like. Yes. <sighs> Bruises, sprains, broken bones. I'm not a surgeon. I don't know if fall is the season for sports, but consider your age and don't overexert yourself. 
She's like, put your, wrap yourself in bubble wrap and just stay in bed. Well, I guess a kid like you doesn't have much to worry about there. You came because you saw my messages, right? I've made progress with the medicine. Could you tag along for a bit? Yes. So what are you going to do? Want to hang out with Takumi? Yes. I'm going to meet someone at Inokashira Park. Let's go. It's close, right? Let's go. Yes. Here. All the data, specimens, and sample medicine. They're all there inside that case. This seems very shady. <laughs> Why are we, like, in the park? <laughs> Let me know if you need anything else. Based on what I read in the findings summary you sent me, the results are truly amazing. We'll perform one final exam with our equipment, and we'll be ready to treat Miwa-chan with it. Oh my god, she's gonna save Miwa-chan! Excellent. Then the rest is up to you. So, this is the kid from your study, huh? <laughs> I'm all twitchy. <laughs> yeah, I tested all the medicine! <laughs> yeah, he's my little guinea pig. You certainly walked a dangerous line, but I'm sure you implemented the strictest of safety protocols. <laughs> Squirt, scores like, I'm growing, uh, uh, like, 11th finger, but... And I have, I have uh, only 8 toes now, but we're fine. Please put some thought into the offer we discussed, will you? Alright, I'll call you later. Look at her spider dress. He's the doctor treating Miwa-chan. He's just, he just so happened to be a year ahead of me in college. I told him everything since I was so close to perfecting the medicine. Thanks. I have to thank you again. All this is thanks to you helping me with the clinical trials. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I see. Okay. Then I guess I won't. From my tour of their medical facility and discussions I had with their development team, I'm confident this will be a success, and they'll complete development on schedule. The final result will be out of my hands, though, if I don't accept their offer, that is. Hmm. I was recruited. He offered me the position of head of research and development at his hospital. Damn! Which means I'll have to close my practice. I start first thing next month. Unfortunately, Takami Clinic of Internal Medicine will be gone. Aww, and your patients? I'll urge my patients to transfer to that hospital, and I'll be sure to give them priority there. <laughs> <laughs> you seem flustered. Are you really that troubled by it? Just kidding. <laughs> the part about being recruited is true, but I don't intend to close my practice. I kind of, I kind of like being a general practitioner. I'm still, uh, I'll still work with them to develop new medicine, though. Once the medicine's perfected, I'll be able to see Miwa-chan and receive my reward. Her smile. She literally, like, saved this little girl. Despite everybody trying to stop her. Oh, I need to give you your reward, too. I'll think of something to give my little guinea pig for holding up his end of the deal. Is that... Max? Oh no, it's still nine. We still got more. I really hope we get to, like, actually see her. See Miwa-chan. Alright. Anyway, you were really concerned when you thought I was going to close this office. I know you said it was for your entrance exams, but come on, really? I think it's about time you started being honest with me. It's okay. You can tell me. Hey. Why did you keep coming to me? I mean, you were right down the street. I should choose my words carefully. Why don't you keep telling? Why don't you tell me the truth about why you kept coming to me? I mean, I wanted to. I wanted to see you. That's this. This doesn't like lock me into any decision, does it? I'm not even ranked ten yet. This isn't like, it said choose your words carefully. This isn't, this isn't like a love confession, is it? Because she's not who I want to romance. The only person I've maxed is Mishima, who I can't romance, so. I'm, I, I know, I want to make sure. Should I, should I say it was for my exams? This is? Okay. So I want to say no. That's to upgrade for dating or no. Okay, so I'm gonna say it was for my exams, even though 
I mean, I do care about her. I didn't want to see her, but she's not who I want to romance, so. Does it, does it lock you? Does that lock out everybody else? Or can you, like, date multiple people at the same time? Wait. Wait, do, can, wait. How does that work in this game? Like, can I date multiple people and then I pick one? Will they get mad? Like, how... I, I actually do want to know, like, how do the mechanics work in this? <laughs> Are you can but dot dot dot? Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Okay. Okay. No, no, no. Our, no, our heart belongs to Kawamami, so it was for my exams. I see. Is that so? Well, I can take a hint. She was all for it. She was like, mm. <laughs> so. You can choose to two time if you, if you want to do that. Oh, no. It's getting late. You should get going. Come visit anytime. I'll see you later. Ah, uh, she would have dated me. I'll be your friend, oh. Hey, guinea pig. Thanks for tagging along today. I've got my drug in the hands of someone I trust. Everything's on track for the cure to go through. And something tells me I'd never have gotten this far without you. Thanks for doing this. You stuck by me, even when one of those side effects could have killed you. You really are the best guinea pig I could have hoped for. I do have, like, three legs now. Um... I'm glad we saw it through. Well, it still needs... It still need. It'll still need some tests and adjusting before it's ready for actual treatment. Still needs lots of work. But I have faith that someday soon it'll help me with Chan's smile again. And I haven't forgotten all you did to help. I'll make sure to bump up your compensation a little. Okay, I'm going to hang up now. We're done with the clinical trials, but you can drop by any time you need some more medical supplies. Might as well keep getting checkups, too. Better safe than sorry, right? I'll look at whatever you need me to. Oh, will you? <laughs> Hi, Liv! That's right. No, that she belongs to Greston, uh, so... You're back. I can't take Greston's, uh... Hot doctor mom. Hot doctor... Hot, hot doctor. <laughs> Compensation value up. <laughs> if we've learned anything from Witcher 3, it's that two timing always works out. It's fine. Uh, we are only rank 9 with the Doctor, so I don't know if because we didn't choose to romance her, can we not get rank 10? I'm not sure how that works in this game yet. This isn't much of an update, but I think I'm going to go back to school starting tomorrow. Oh, well, that's good. I'm sorry for worrying all of you until now. Are you really okay, though? Be sure not to push yourself too hard in this time of grief. No, I actually need to push myself. My mind's always wander. My mind always wanders if I have nothing to do. Yeah, I totally get you. Besides, there's nothing I can do while I'm at home. Well, uh, I don't know how to put it, but try not to think about that stuff too much. We're on your side, Haru. Yeah, you can come to us for anything. Um, to be completely honest, when I ended up alone, I did doubt you all a tiny bit. But it's so horrible for me to doubt you. I mean, I'm the one who asked you all to do this. Your father just passed away, Haru. It's natural to feel a flood of emotion at such events. Yeah, it's really hard when you lose someone like that. But I'm okay now. You've all helped me out so much. Right back at ya. Thank you. Those words are truly reassuring. Well then, I'll see all of you at school. Haru. I'm not surprised she seems down. You should keep her in your thoughts. Still, despite how she looks, Haru has quite the backbone. I'm sure she'll be okay. Yeah. Freaking Ryuji. Gun dead! Oh my gosh. So the people who like message me are the people I'm ready to level up with, yeah. Oh wait, wait, wait! Coffee dead. You got time right now? There's still some time left on the clock today. How about it? I can teach you the ropes. Yeah! 
Ah, oh, it won't deepen. Yes. All right then. Put your stuff down. I should probably like better manage which personas I have so that I can level up the people I want to at this point. Put your stuff down and grab an apron. Don't forget to wash your hands. I need a chart. I need a chart of who, who which persona, which like card is each person. Thanks. I just need to make sure I have like as many, as much variety in my personas as I can. Ugh. I love those clear umbrellas. <laughs> Pulling all nighters is the worst. I really should have started studying sooner. At least the school festival soon. It's the thing I'm looking forward to most right now. Procrastinating girl. Oh god, that's me. Yeah, but are they still gonna hold it? It might get cancelled. Don't say that. You're bumming me out before the exams. Things are bad enough as it is. If they cancel the festival, the students will riot. Persona 4's Velvet Room was a limo? Nice. Phantom Thieves have gone off the deep end, don't you think? I thought they were gonna change that CEO's heart, but they ended up killing him instead. Haven't people been saying they killed Principal Kobayakawa too? I thought they were bad, but I never expected they'd turn out to be murderers. Oh man, does this mean anyone who gets targeted is screwed? Quiet down. I'll now be handing out your exam booklets. Man, we actually have to take the exam, too. Well, shall we begin? Let the first day of exams begin. Counting both black and white surfaces, how many surfaces are there in total on a soccer ball? Oh, God. Is that an accurate representation, that picture? Can I just count it? <laughs> I want to say 18. Uh, no. I want to say 32, actually. Is that... That looks accurate. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15, 14, 15, 16, 17. I want to say 32. Ooh, we can do this! Aha! Essay question. This looks tough, but let's calm down and think it through. Provide an explanation for why the soccer ball is only comprised of the colors black and white. Soccer balls? Didn't the teacher say that the number of colors used to be different? Do you remember? I do not. Uh, used to be one color? Right! It was only one color, but that wouldn't really grab your eye. I remember. I think she said that, unlike now, soccer games were broadcasted with black and white pictures. Right, a single colored ball would be hard to spot in black and white. So they changed the color of the ball to make it easily identifiable on TV. Ahem. Ace the test. School, school exam simulator. <laughs> oh my god, our rating keeps going down. You're still rooting for the Phantom Thieves? You know they're murderers, right? That doesn't mean that criminals should be left to do whatever they want. Still, couldn't they have at least left the principal to the police? And I mean, did you see that press conference? No way Allies of Justice would do that. I wonder if Akechi Kun has been right all along. He's so admirable sticking girl to his like guns even though so many people houses. were against him. That's enough. If you don't quiet down, I'll have to ask you to leave. Now, everyone. This is the second day of your exams. Please begin. Who conducted executions using this device? That doesn't look like it. No, work. I knew that was wrong. That's not who conducted them. That's who invented it. What is the reason that most people cannot become a cormorant fisherman of Nagata Nagatasawa? They don't have the guts. It's hereditary? Ooh, we yeah. can do this. I 
I know, right wing? I want to count the number of sides on a soccer ball with a picture. The Phantom Thieves have got to be students here, right? I mean, they killed our principal. Isn't this insane? There are murderers among us. Among us. Now that you mention it, there was a guy in Shibuya who told me he's a Phantom Thief the other day. For real? You For real? That. Oh, crap. You think so? I snapped a pic, so I should probably put it online just in case. Oh, my God. I hope the cops catch him. Uh. Sus. Okay, class, let's get started. Today's the third day of exams. Go ahead and start. What is the meaning of robota, the etymology root of robot? Oh. That doesn't look no. like it'll work. Which of the following describes the density of stars in outer space? Oh. That doesn't Damn look it. like it'll work. I failed that class. God. We learned these things, like, when was the last time we played this game? Six months ago, at least? Because hmm. you actually do learn these things in, in the class, and then you take the exam. Yep. Did you get a decent score, score coon? I think I failed. I got a 50%. It's time to save scum. Are these nah. are here again? Yeah, seems like it's for real this time. Apparently one of our students is a phantom thief. Seriously? I read the same You're thing to online. For real? Apparently public security is already on the move. It's me. Oh, there's something, 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 something. Futaba wanted something. Futaba wants to talk to me about something. Maruki. It's open. Um. Welcome. Ah, you're the third year Okamura-san, correct? So good to see you. Please have a seat. Yeah, she's the one that needs to talk to you. <sighs> His little apple juice box. Are you okay? Huh? Yes. I'm sorry. I did come here because I wanted to, but I'm not exactly adept at saying what's on my mind. Oh, that's perfectly fine. I'm not all that great at chatting with people either. Ah! Excuse me? Oh, maybe I shouldn't have said that. How about some snacks? No need to be modest here. You have my thanks. Thanks. I'm all right, though. Um. Um. Oh gosh, she's so Marianne. I must be pretty weird, right? I came here for counseling, and I can't seem to say anything. Well... Not weird in the least. Just take your time. We'll go at whatever pace you need. And if you still don't feel comfortable by the end of our time, well, just have some tea and head on home for the day. I do enjoy tea time. Perhaps I'll feel more relaxed if I think of all this in that way. Quite. Nobody's going to de-stress if they come in here all worked up, like, I have to talk right now! Thinking of this as just sneaking away to relax with some tea would probably help you feel more open. Relaxing with some tea? I do that quite often, but on my own. Do you find that more relaxing? Yes. The people closest to me in my life, they don't really feel like people I could sit and enjoy tea with. Even my family was always focused solely on work. I see. So, was the meal time essentially the same setup as tea time? Yes. Meals where we actually ate together were almost always uptight di dinners at work-related events. I see. I've never been to upscale social events, so I'm not sure if I should ask this, but, well, didn't you ever feel lonely? I... Lonely? Uh, yes, I think so. If I were given the chance, I would have only wanted to spend more time with my family. Why don't we call it a day now? Feel free to stop by again, anytime you like. Um... Yes, I do apologize. It seems I extended this tea time much longer than I had intended. <laughs> no problem at all. If anything, I'm happy to hear it. I'll make sure to pick up snacks that pair well with tea. Snack daddy, so thoughtful. 
<laughs> He's a therapist that offers you snacks. I received word from Putaba-chan about our upcoming meeting. There's still some time until the meet, though, so I'm going to go take care of my flowers first. See you later. I suppose plants do need watering after all. Oh, I know. You should go help Haru. I'll let the others know. The cat has decided. <laughs> How troubling. Hi there, Haru. Have you come up here to assist me? Every single one of those says, says broccoli. Did broccoli just come in those pots or is she growing an insane amount of broccoli? <laughs> oh, Undercoon, have you come here to assist me? You, um, heard that, didn't you? <laughs> How embarrassing. I'm not worried about the garden. <laughs> you in talking case to the broccoli? Wondering. It's just so much has happened to me lately. <sighs> well, perhaps I could share this with you. I mean, I love it broccoli. would be nice to have someone who is aware of my current situation in life. The source of my worries is my father's company. Dealing with the aftermath has been difficult. Given how unexpected the accident was, my father didn't have a will. All of his stocks transferred to me. Which means suddenly, I'm the biggest shareholder in a company oh of over 1,000 employees. Oh, yikes. But I don't know the first thing about business direction or fund management. Now, you hire people for that. It is. I may be the president's daughter, but I never expected I would end up involved with company matters. Because of that, lately I've been meeting with all the various officers and lawyers my father employed. They've been giving me advice on all the things I'm not entirely sure about. Assets, stocks... It's clear some people only want to get on my good side, though. I don't know who I can trust. They right. try to sound comforting by saying things like, don't worry, or leave it to me. But it feels like they're really only being nice so they can get their hands on my bank account. I... I never realized I could be this distrustful of other people. Uh, I'm sorry for ranting on about this matter. I feel as though doing so has helped me calm down a bit, though. The only people I've consulted up to this point have been employees. But I think what I really needed was someone closer to my own age. Closer to my own viewpoint. Hmm. Um, if it um, isn't too much trouble, could we speak about this again some other time? Over broccoli? In return, <laughs> Maybe. I'll... Hmm. What can I do to help you? Take I me don't back to Destiny Land. Talents. How about this? You know, gardening. I'm actually quite skilled at Oh my god, is there a gardening minigame in this game too? I even managed to grow a tropical fruit on the balcony at my house. To be honest, this is what I do when I'm alone. To take my mind off of everything that's happened. <sighs> oh, that's right. I stored some vegetables in the refrigerator down in the home economics room. You still have some time, yes? Would you mind waiting here a moment? <gasps> <laughs> I grew these right here in these very planters. Oh, and give Kawa Mommy a job, yes. There's not much consistency to their colors or shapes, but. <laughs> Broccoli's broccoli, it's fine. <laughs> what did she say they were? I missed it. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> I want to try them. Look at her little bag. <laughs> you like vegetables? That's good to know. But to tell the truth, I have a favor to ask of you. I'd like to get Sakura-san's opinion on my vegetables. Do you think I could bring my next harvest over to your cafe? Who's Sakura-san? Heirloom veggies. <laughs> <laughs> 
Sojido, really? Really? I'm sure Sakura-san will give me an honest opinion. I'll make sure this oh, next that's, harvest is that's particularly good. I, I know him as Coffee Dad well, or Sojido. Shall we head over to the hideout? Okay. Congrats on surviving midterms. Uh, I think I'm screwed for real this time. I couldn't concentrate at all. Again? It's so damn loud! More importantly, what's this you want to talk about? Alright. You said that something was on your mind before, but were you able to figure out what it was? The medjet that I banned wasn't the real one. What? Huh? Aren't you the real one, though? <laughs> oh, uh... <laughs> The guy who called himself Medjet after me isn't the one from the other day. What do you mean? The code written by that guy the other day is different from any of the past Medjet. And that means... <laughs> A code is like your fingerprints. No matter how you try to disguise it, your own quirks appear in it. The one from the other day was all cut and pasted with no consistency. No skill at all. But aren't there multiple people across the world that are part of Medjet? Couldn't it have been done by someone that joined recently? How do I put it? That code was so not done by anyone interested in cracking. At all. At the very least, there's no way it was an official Medjed member. So someone used the Medjed name to provoke the Phantom Thieves? For what purpose? Could they have been doing it for fun? It was around the time our group started getting popular, so maybe they wanted in on the hype. Well, we're not Wait popular anymore. What if it's the other way around? Hmm? Perhaps they use the Medjed name to make the Phantom Thieves known. What? That makes no sense! I actually thought the same as Makoto. Why is that? We were never as popular you know how I just said as that we code thought. Is like fingerprints? I found those same fingerprints somewhere completely different. Where's that? The Phantom Aficionado website. There were traces of it being illegally tampered with from the outside. For real? Before summer vacation, the access counter was made to be much higher than the actual number. Same with the rankings. Particularly the time when President Okumura ranked first. This isn't the website that Mishima so runs, is it? The one who provoked the group and the one who tampered with the site are the same person? I think I'm starting to see the big picture. Both Medjed's provocation and the tampering of the website brought attention to us as a result. On top of that, our reason for targeting Okumura was influenced by the public and the rankings. The perfect timing and the perfect target. If both of those had been set up... It would all make sense. So the culprit was planning to put the blame on us from the start? No way! This is all hypothetical. We lack any hard evidence. But if all your deductions happen to be correct, that would mean we've been playing right into their hand for the past two months or so. We gotta be overthinking things. I mean, we're talking both the rankings and Medjed. Everyone made a big deal about it. If this was all set up, then what kind of guy did we make an enemy of? There's no point in getting anxious over speculation. Regardless, we'll be falsely charged at this rate, and with murder. We must overcome this. But we don't even know who we're up against. Hey, you think we're falling into another trap, even at this very moment? What? What's going on? <laughs> yes, Ryuji, for real. So someone wanted to, like, kill this guy. And they made us super popular so that we were the very obvious, like, uh, the one that people would obviously blame because we're in the public eye. Which would take all the attention off them. Because they would just automatically assume it's us. Indeed, we don't. 
It'll be more dangerous jumping to conclusions and assuming we figured it out. Even if this is the actions of a meticulous enemy, we'll just have to get back at them. We need to find clues. I'm very confident, Makoto. No matter what. Me? I was told you recommended this reassignment yourself, sir. Why would you choose someone as inexperienced as myself? When the case of the Shujin Principle was ruled a suicide, you thought to reopen it. And you proved its connection to the Phantom Thieves. This is based primarily on that achievement. I'm honored, sir. The Phantom Thieves issue is now a national crisis. Expectations are exceedingly high for us public prosecutors, as we are the executors of justice. Personnel and planning will be up to you on this case. You will also have the police under your command. I'd like you to oversee this operation. <sighs> You've yet to give an answer. Will you accept the task of eradicating the Phantom Thieves? I will give it everything I have. Sai, we'll no! Have to prepare a higher position for you as well in the event that you succeed. <laughs> I don't wish to apply extra pressure on you, but I assume your odds of success are high. Naturally, failure to accomplish this task is unacceptable. Do you understand? Of course. I will live up to your expectations no matter what it takes. That is all, then. I expect good results from you. This guy. I'm home. Hi, sis. Should I warm up dinner for you? No, it's okay. How about a bath? No need. I just came home to get a change of clothes. Are you going to stay at work, then? I've been entrusted with a very important task. You look awful, though. Aren't you tired? As an adult, there will be times when you will accept an assignment for which failure is not tolerated. It's all over for me if I can't win this. <laughs> Still, if you were to here collapse have that too. from exhaustion... This is my one chance to get a promotion. One chance ever in your entire life. I heard detectives have been coming to your school. That must make it hard to focus on your studies. Don't worry, though. It will all be over soon. What do you mean? I'm going to catch the Phantom Thieves uh, myself. Oh, no. Is that the important task you mentioned? It's none of your concern. I want rice and vegetables so bad now. Oh, my God. Sis has her sights set on the Phantom Thieves, and on Shujin Academy in particular. <sighs> this is bad. I need to let everyone know. Things have become somewhat troublesome, everyone. Just try to stay calm. What's wrong? Sis told me she's been entrusted with an important task regarding the Phantom Thieves. That means... Yes, the SIU must surely be on the move at this point. That bad. Wait, weren't they already investigating us, though? The police were doing so in secret. This operation is on a much different scale. Hold on a sec, what's this SIU thing anyways? The Special Investigations Unit, an elite team that deals with huge cases like government scandals. I have heard that name on the news. They make headlines often. The real insane part, they haven't lost a case against a suspect in like 50 years. If they come after you, you're screwed. They're the best investigation force in Japan. Are we going to be arrested? Hmm, doesn't this countermeasure seem somewhat extreme? Right or wrong, I think we're just way too famous at this point. Not anymore! As this is a country governed by law, they can't afford to ignore us for any longer. We may be the Phantom Thieves, but this is miserable. They probably have a pretty narrow suspect profile by now, too. Hey, don't scare us like that. It's okay, though. They don't have any evidence. Yes, I expect they're frantically searching for some as we speak. No way they're gonna find anything, though. It's only a matter of time. We have to hurry and do something about this. <laughs> Man, we really shouldn't have told Yusuke to sign his name on all of those calling cards. Damn. 
throw away all your paints, Yusuke, and, and move. <laughs> Change your art style. Destroy all of your old art. Uh, everything's going to be fine. Unless they know throw about away the cat. Base, there's no way they'll get any info on us. Right. This is this is wild anime shit. Like they are they looking for anime? Some real convenient timing for the prosecution, though. Thieves Den updated. To find the true culprit, elude the investigation team. Could someone have been pulling means... the strings this whole time? Hey. Have you been talking with Futaba? Has she said anything? Can we leave? Hey! Damn. Guess we just go to bed or make lockpicks in our room. Can we play the video oh. games? I wanna... Oh, there we go. Let's play a game. Featherman Seeker. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I checked the manual. <laughs> Man, the government's after us. We, we are in serious trouble. We got to lay low. Let's play video games. I checked the manual. It says the story in this game is different from the original TV show. Something about trying to become a six Phoenix Ranger. I don't know much about the TV series, but this looks like a game you can really sink your teeth into. Let's become a Phoenix Ranger. Whoa. I love the sound effects. First, remember the command. The commands as displayed on the screen. Wait, are we actually gonna play the game? What? What? Oh. What? Got it. Scrap a turnum. Okay. Oh my God. <sighs> now then. Okay. Oh. Wind punch. Time do I have? Okay. Mm -hmm. oh my God, it's like the whole game. I get it. We're a Phoenix Ranger. Hey. Yeah! Look at that. I would like to become a Phoenix Ranger. <laughs> Pro gamer right here. Let's say. Yay, we won Phoenix Rangers. Go, go, Phoenix Rangers! 29%! Damned Phantom Thieves! Have they found the Phantom Thieves yet? The government and the police are useless. Are they even trying? I wish they wouldn't spend tax dollars just to sit on their asses. A mysterious group of murderers and an inept government. What's the world coming to these days? <sighs> Everyone's talking trash about us. Yep. Just another day. It's fine. fine. It's, it's totally, like, we're totally gonna get famous again. They were there today too, right? Yeah. What do those damn cops think they are? They can't just stare us all down like that. Maybe the rumors are true. Maybe there's a exams? phantom thief at our school. <gasps> Kawakami's exam. Ace me, Kawakami. Okay, quiet down. Police are here at the school, be so be sure not to get in their way. Oh, and for various reasons, the school festival got moved to the 25th. There was talk of canceling it, but we couldn't just do that. I'm sure the preparations will be rough, but don't push yourself too hard. 
on a weekday? What kind of reasons are there? With all the stuff about the principal and Kamoshida this year, I guess it's no surprise. Oh, no exam. Oh, I want that lunch. Apparently the police are going to be interrogating all the students here. Seriously? The police are at Shujin? They haven't come to my school. It seems they're calling students individually out of class to speak with them. Wait, does that mean we're gonna get called in too? Second years will start in the afternoon. Make sure you prepare yourselves mentally for this. They gotta be looking for the culprit, right? Who knows? Be careful, guys. You should probably try not to say much. They'll see through any lies you might try telling. Oh god, Ryuji is screwed. I know. In any case, don't tell them anything unnecessary. Well then, next up is Takamaki-san and... Skorkun. Say my name, Kawakami! You two will go together. Huh? Why together? Why? They'll probably have one of you wait outside. That's how they've been doing it so far. Uh, oh yeah, right. Those are the instructions the detectives <laughs> on gave us. sus before Just she don't even say gets more than there. Is necessary and try and get it over with quick. Even Kawakami is telling us to like not tell them anything. Take a seat. Did yeah, for me? <gasps> We're sorry to take your time. This will be over quick. Let's see. Ah yes, you're the one currently under probation. It says here you had a dispute with Mr. Kamishida. I like him, you guys. <laughs> Scorcoon should become a streamer, yes. Hey, Red Tubby, how you doing? Ah, I am, I am, uh, no. There's, uh, we can use, we cannot use peach emojis in that little, like, pop-up notification, uh, that, like, pops up to notify people that, um, that I'm streaming. You're not allowed to use peach emojis in there anymore. You used to be able to, but somebody, that means somebody misused the peach emoji. Somebody abused the peach emoji. I'm sure because it looks like a butt. <laughs> Somebody probably got crude with it and now nobody's allowed to use peach emojis. Rude. Rude! <laughs> Someone ruined it for everyone! I can still use them in like my title and stuff. I just can't use it in that little notification for some reason. At least I think I can use it in my title. It's so funny. It was just like one day, it was like, nope, sorry, you have like, you cannot use this message. I was like, really? Who ruined it? <laughs> oh my gosh, it says here you had a dispute with Mr. Kamoshida. Uh... Did we? I mean... I think we did. Yeah, that happened. Oh god. You're more hot-blooded than you look. You spend time with quite an interesting group. Yusuke Kitagawa and Haru Okumura? The more friends, the better, right? I'm sorry to have taken your time. You're free to go. What? That's it? Oh, I almost forgot. There's just oh, no. one more thing I have to He's, ask you. He, this is Do the you nice think the detective. Phantom thieves are associated with this school? I hope not. Don't worry. We're here to keep all of you safe, okay? Thank you for your time. Overbearing your detective. Your will serve as great reference material. Takamaki-san is next. Could you ask her to come in? Okay, that was that was quick and painless. Oh god, they're gonna arrest An, aren't they? Did An get arrested? I got so nervous, I almost stuttered a few times. I thought I was used to police questioning by now, too. Aww. It seems we were all asked the same questions. That's how they get you. They do that on purpose, then wait for someone to slip up. I hope you didn't. <laughs> it was probably fine. Oh, I would have been done for if they saw how sweaty my hands were, though. To think my men would come up as well. Yeah, that was, that was really Sounds odd. Like we can't take the police lightly, either. Hey, didn't you think that detective guy was scary? 
<laughs> Am I being tested? Is on a plant? <laughs> Does, is on wearing a wire? Did you think that detective guy was scary? Uh, seemed normal to me. Not to me. He looked like someone who's dealt with dangerous criminals. I'm sorry for all of this. I love that uh, Futaba always sister. takes her boots off. That's and, not and true, Mako chan. Sits all hunched up. It's not as though I hadn't predicted this would happen. But now that it's become reality, I'm unsure of what to do. We need to make sure we don't draw suspicion and work to clear our names. Right? Right. It ain't your fault, Makoto. I'm gonna try to see how far along this investigation really is. I'm worried about the police too, but as of now, anyone in this city could be a mole. They were so popular too. Aww. Haru, can I ask you to search your father's belongings for clues about a possible culprit? I... I know it may be tough on you. No, it's okay. Now isn't the time for me to look away. As for everyone else, you need to be cautious of how you spend your time at school. So, I've decided to have you three second years join me on the school festival executive committee. Ah. Why? For real? It will allow us to gather without drawing suspicion. Plus, trying to blend in will only do the opposite. <laughs> She's like, we're trying to blend in and not draw suspicion, Fine. so we should hang out more. I agree. The more in time I have to kill, the more school. time I'll spend worrying about all this stuff. No matter what happens, I don't want to regret my decisions. Don't jinx it! It would be no surprise if they came directly to our homes for questioning. They showed up God. at your school after all. I should They're definitely cautious. coming to your house, Yusuke. For now, the best option is to stay on the defensive. But we won't make progress at this rate. Let's try and figure out who the real culprit is somehow, okay? Of course. <laughs> get, get in the system and, and start some hacking, Futaba. Hack the planet. <gasps> this is bad. Someone totally framed us. Can I... Are, is the cat gonna let me have an evening with Kawakami? Hey. Uh! Man, I hate it when the cat dictates my social life. <laughs> the cat says no, you gotta play more video games. I don't wanna play video games. What am I gonna do? Uh, Shady Commodities! Welcome, this is Tanika's Shady Commodities. Mr. Joker, you open the door to possibilities that normal people can only dream of. Now, you can find all the rare items you could possibly want. Alright, let's order some drugs on the black market. Uh, come on, I want, I want the SP items. Psy damage, nuke damage. Oh no, we can buy an organization coat. A mirror that darkens the mood around you. St oh, we have that. Wait, no, we don't have that. Stagnant air, fall breath, a hand mirror that frightens you. Uh... Hundred and fifty side damage. New damage. I like those 150 damage. That's we used all of those against the uh, Reaper. There we go. There's all our money. So far, you have spent a total of 47,000 yen. Your order will arrive soon. We understand your excitement, but we ask for your patience. We hope to see you again soon. Sorry, it's not coming for, by Amazon drone. You're gonna have to wait. Okay. I need to see Kawakami. Yes. Oh, I, hate I this have guy. another suggestion. Cat, good a cat. Call for the arrest of the Phantom Thieves, then mobilize the police. The rest will go as you mentioned. <laughs> Still, <laughs> Evil I'm truly amazed at the atrocious methods you come up with. This guy just says this evil shit over the phone. Oh my god, 25%. Uh, what's going on? I totally froze up when the cops talked to me. I bet they consider me a suspect now. How much longer are they going to do this? We should be busy preparing for the school festival right now. 
Why'd the school decide to have the festival so late anyway? I mean, changing the date just because our school's all over the news? Moving it to next Tuesday only makes it more work for us. We won't be able to invite friends from other schools now that we're holding the festival on a weekday. It'll also be inconvenient to anyone we already invited. And what about the post-festival party? Will there be enough people for the student sharing student sharing special? <sighs> it's gonna be a real weird festival with morale so low. Darn. <laughs> what was that sigh? Speaking of the annoying media, we've been getting phone calls in the faculty office. The absurdity of it all. Who exactly are the phantom thieves? That's what we want to know. We really have no clue what method they're using. Killing someone without directly interacting with them is like magic. Man, I want to watch Death Note now. Speaking of magic, did you know that there's magic in math too? A magic square. Nice transition there, Mizusami. It's a square in which adding up the numbers in any row, column, or diagonal gives you the same total. Score set. Please look at this. Uh, do you know this one? Now, tell me the total count for each column in this magic square. Oh my god. What? Ah! It's gotta be 15, right? This is it. Correct. It's easy once you know which numbers fit in the empty squares. A 3x3 three three square only has one pattern, but a 4x4 four four has 880 possibilities. In a 5x5 five five square, there are more than 200 million. Can you believe that? Damn. Nice going. Yeah, I'm smart. I cannot get that 5 in knowledge, man. If you had to choose, would you try to find the Phantom Thieves or solve 200 million magic squares? I'd choose the magic squares, hands down. They might both be magic, but magic squares can be calculated, and math doesn't kill anyone. <sighs> Having everyone out there looking for the culprit is getting me down. It's tough to be you, Mona. So what do we gotta do as the school festival's executive committee? I'll need some help with questionnaires. What questionnaires? The ones regarding who, who people want to see as the guest of honor. Oh, right. That thing they do every year. You mean guest of honor? Like, it's like, isn't it like two days away? It's three days away. You mean how those lame guests come to do a panel, right? The festival's dates were changed because of the situation. We need to hurry and tally the results. Come to the student council room once classes are over. Ugh, that's so damn boring. Don't be like that. It's so we can meet up without standing out. Let's do what we can at the moment. I'm making sure to work hard at home. But you do that all the time. I can look stuff up. So did you find anything, Haru? About that. No good, huh? I'm sorry. It'll rouse suspicion if I ask too many detailed questions. No worries. Skipper, what, what are you doing? Bam, 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 bam. The Phantom Thieves will be the guests of honor. There you go. Hey, what's up, Kevin? Does time management ever become easier in the game? I remember barely having time to do one or two things and they wanted me to get a job. <laughs> um, you can't do everything. Uh, it's, it's like real life. There's a bajillion things to do and you simply can't do everything. So you have to decide what's most important to you. And like, if you need money, then you have to get a job or do some other thing like grind in the metaverse. Like, so yeah, there, there's no way to do everything. You have to decide who you want to hang out with, what you want to do, what's, you know, if you want to grind items or grind experience or hang out with people, you know, it's just like real life. <laughs> I'll manage on my end somehow. We're counting on you. I can't go, but message me if anything happens. I will leave this to you guys. My apologies, but I cannot be of much help in this situation. Oh. Manic says you can eventually complete everything if you're smart. Damn it. We don't have time to be doing crap like this. You don't need to keep mentioning it. We're doing this to keep suspicions off of us, remember? Goro Akechi. Mm. This one too, Akechi. Oh, They're no. mostly the same over here as well. 
Akechi's gonna be the so guest of honor. When they can be anonymous. It's like they never accepted us to begin with. It would be nice if you did some work too, Ryuji-kun. You came to help us count these, Is right? It? Come on, leader. Can you tell him too? <laughs> Take this seriously, Ryuji. We're gathering information too. You know, like online and stuff. I guess that's you don't know how to online, it. Ryuji. Hey, Stereo. Look here. This ain't good. Criminal profiling? The acts of thievery committed by the Phantom Thieves are mere fakes. And their true goal is murder? Every heart they changed before Okumura was just a warm up? Uh, so now they're accusing us of being a bunch of killers. Now, they've been accusing us of God, being murderers. This is so stupid. Is this, is this new it. information? We have the results. First place is Goro Akechi. What? Akechi? What are you so surprised for? We've been mentioning him this whole time. Seriously? Not some singer or an idol? It's because of us that his popularity has skyrocketed. We're the ones counting the results. Can't we just make him up? <laughs> we have to get him. People will figure that out. He won by a landslide. I knew people would vote for him, but this is way more votes than I was expecting. It would be best for us to avoid inviting such a clear danger upon ourselves. I'd like a little <laughs> more time be to thirsty. think about the who to ask. The students be thirsty for a catchy. That catchy. reminds me. How was Futaba-chan doing? She seemed like she was looking into something on her own. Has she told you anything? Uh, not a word. It's not that I don't trust her, but... Even one clue would work wonders for us. We should let her continue with her own investigation. I hope she finds something. Hey, Coffee hey. Dead. There's a catchy on the news. In response to the police identifying the Phantom Thieves as primary suspects, Goro Akechi had this to say. Did he? Even though my opinion has been met with criticism, I've held fast that the Phantom Thieves are not just. However, I believe the recent series of suspicious deaths is unrelated to their actions. What? what? Did I hear you correctly? Catch you got our back, man. You were the first to caution everyone about the Phantom Thieves. Were you not? He's had a change of heart. This doesn't change the fact that they are indeed a dangerous group. That said, I would like to express that immediately linking them to this case is far too hasty. There are still many questions to be answered here. It feels as though there is more to this. After this conference, Akechi-san announced he will be limiting his media appearances and... I wonder why the sudden change. Yeah. I am super stuck on my Okamura vet investigation. Seriously? Even you're having trouble with this shit? What should we do? Let's meet up and discuss our options as soon as possible. Tomorrow? The earlier the better, right? Though I still haven't come up with anything myself. It's said two heads are better than one, so I can only imagine what eight heads may produce. That's a good way of thinking. It's totally an Inari idea. Okay, let's do everything we can right now. Even if it means crossing some dangerous bridges. Considering how far we've come, we can't be particular about our methodology. What are you staring at your phone like that for? Oh, are you going through a breakup? <laughs> <laughs> He's always on us for looking at our phone. He's staring at the TV. That's no better. That's not it. Whoa, no need to deny it so seriously. It was just a joke. I want to see this guy go out in his, like, white pimp suit again. <laughs> By the way... You haven't been causing any trouble, have you? I heard the police showed up at your school. <laughs> Let them come. <laughs> it's nothing about me. As long as you're not getting involved. <sighs> well, fine. I swear it's fine, Coffee Dead. Who wants to hang out? Oh my god, gun dead. <laughs> Yo. 
What happened with that Akechi kid? Did you hear anything from him? Oh, it's Saturday. Can I call Kawa Ka Ka oh. Mommy? Yes! Hi! Hi! This is Becky. I'm on break for a while. I hope you'll call back again soon. Kawakami's not at the store, but I can still ask her to fulfill her side of our deal. I already have the Takase couple's names. I should go to Mementos and change their hearts. Oh! That's right. Can we, can, we probably can't do that now, can we? We gotta do that, like, during the day, I think. Maybe. Good night, Jazafel. That's right! We gotta help call, call mommy. Um, no, because we would have to call a meeting, right? Um, yeah. hmm. Gundad really wants to see us, man. But. Persona 5. Hmm. Uh, confidant guide. Alright. Ooh, get some snacks for me, Prezi. Okay, I want to go. Uh, To go to the velvet room. Hi, Justine. What are you gonna do today? Time to name the location, Justine. You do the honors. No. Listen closely. The place we wish to evaluate for your rehabilitation. Oh, they have like a quest or something for me. A present day Tower of Babel. It looms high in the heavens, so high that the humans down below on Earth are no longer even visible to the naked eye. Such a grand structure would be far too dangerous for humans. We find that we have to. We, oh, have a duty to investigate. Does this location sound at all familiar to you? If you know where it is, then escort us there immediately. Yes, Mistress Caroline. Could be the sky tree. What'll you do? You mean the sky tree? I forgot about this. Perfect thing to do. Hi, Soggy. So its name is the sky tree, huh? That's pretty impressive sounding. It's no Tower of Babel, but still, quite fine. Onward, inmate. Yes, the boldness of the moniker is quite promising. Take us there at once. Yes, yes, Justine. Whoa, it's crazy out there. So, this is the present day Tower of Babel. Incredible. It appears we underestimated the current extent of human technology and the metal box that took us here. My ears were so tortured by its sounds, I thought I would faint. But as a trial for reaching this place, it was mere child's play. <laughs> oh my, what could that tiny thing in the sky be? An airplane? They truly do appear to be quite cramped inside. This is quite the this is quite the view. It almost appears as if we could crush the people below like insects. Oh my god. Justine. Oh, Justine, look at that. Loud as ever. What is it? How could this happen? There's a hole in the floor. Is it some kind of trap? Try standing on it, Mistress Caroline. What? Are you insane? It is most assuredly a trap, Caroline. Any passerby that comes too close to it is clearly doomed. By the way, inmate, I've heard this Tower of Babel has a path that leads even higher than where we are now, all the way to the heavens. Really? What? Is that true? Take us there immediately. Yes, Mistress Caroline. Well, it doesn't reach all the way to the heavens, but the view is still rather impressive. Yes, we can see well past the city from here, almost to the ends of the earth. However, Caroline, are you attempting to back out of this? What? What, what do you mean by that? Why, why would I suddenly get scared after already coming so close? Ah, I see. Then why not go even closer and enjoy the view? Joking. Oh my god, is Caroline scared of heights? Well, cut it out. If you want to look so badly, then go do it. Don't mind if I do. 
Hey, are those kids okay? Where are their parents? Uh, they're just playing around. See? That guy's chaperoning them. Oh my god. Hey, inmates! Great! Now we're part of some humiliating misunderstanding. All because you were making such a scene, inmate. What a burden. You are the one who should feel humiliated. I guess I am humiliated. What a great view, though. I see how looking down from here can make a person feel like a god. Hm, human desire really knows no bounds, does it? <sighs> yes, it's no wonder their hearts grow twisted when they're living in a city frothing with so much desire. Well, we've learned the secret of the Tower of Babel, so we'll consider this assignment complete. Here is your reward. Hmm. You better keep up this progress, inmate. Yes, Mistress Caroline. Now, let us return. You will accompany us for our return. Oh my god. I don't know how far I am, uh, as far as percentage-wise, because I've never played it before. I've been told I'm at least two-thirds of the way through. This is an extremely long game, so <laughs> we've got a lot left to go. I escorted the twins back to the Velvet Room. Oh my goodness. Makoto, has Nijima-san told you anything about the investigation? Well, Sis actually stopped mentioning anything about work in front of me. It's possible I made some sort of mistake. Regardless, I thought over the matter of who we're going to invite for our school festival. I'm considering asking Akechi-kun. For real? For real! Weren't you talking about how you didn't want to draw danger to us or whatever? I understand this is dangerous, but without a powerful source of intel, we won't be able to win against the police network. And you're, I can you're no past the halfway point. I sure sh hope so. Wait, Jeez. is this because of Akechi Kun's police connections? I'm only 115 going to use hours into this game. Intel? Bold move. I'm surprised to hear that suggestion coming from you, Makoto. Did you see his press conference yesterday? One of his comments defending the Phantom Thieves stood out to me. There is more to this. I think he said that knowing for certain that the Phantom Thieves would be watching. Still, there will be so many other students at the school festival. What are the odds of success? It's a gamble, and the odds are less than favorable. But we can no longer afford to hesitate. What are your thoughts? Should we invite a Kechikun? She'd be fine. It's fine. Okay, then. Is everyone else okay with that? I'm good. Whatever he says has got to be more reliable than what I've been able to come up with. It would be reassuring to gain him as an ally, rather than simply a source of information. Hold on, how are we even gonna get in touch with him? It's not like we got his contact info. Actually, I do. For real? Could you send that my way, please? I'll contact him right away. Gotta say, I'm really not big on this Akechi deal. Now's no time to be petty. Just think of him as a source of intel, nothing more. I have a response already. He says, let me think about it. Wait a sec. Didn't he say he wasn't going to do any more stuff for the media? That's likely why he's so hesitant. What are we going to do if he turns us down? I'll keep trying. Maybe frustrating, but he's all we have at the moment. We need him to do it no matter what. We're counting on you, Makoto. We went from, oh god, we shouldn't invite him to, we gotta have him do it no matter what. <sighs> Who would have thought we'd end up relying on a catchy? Oh my goodness. Oh my god, I don't like you. <gasps> Holy crap, let's save.
told you, 115 hours. Level 57. We were a lot less, but we uh, we fought the Reaper and gained like 10 levels in one go. Alright, uh, I'm gonna take a quick break. Get up and stretch everybody. Do something healthy for yourself. Rest your eyes from the screen for a moment. Refill your water, get a snack, whatever you gotta do to keep yourselves healthy, okay? Thank you for uh, hanging out today. This is super fun. I'm loving it. And uh, I will see you guys shortly. You and your poor peaches. Beautiful peaches. Peaches for me. Mr. P just said that he was making, um, he's making mussels cooked in garlic butter with daikon and little baby potatoes for dinner. And now I'm hungry. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. It's gonna be so good. Alright, who wants to see me? I don't want to see you. Um, Sunday evening. I, I can't. Call mommy. Oh, I can hang out with Coffee Dad. Oh. Hi. Becky's on break. Oh, yeah, Mementos. We can't go to Mementos now. We need a free day. <laughs> All right. Let's grow closer with Coffee Dad. Well. Okay, today we're gonna try brewing a cup of coffee from step one. Just listen to what I tell you. These beans are Colombian and a medium fine city roast. Oh, and don't let the water boil too much. You're gonna be fine. I'll be here the whole time. Yeah. Not bad. Though I guess anyone can do something as simple as just brewing it. Making a blend, on the other hand, is a different story. Mixing beans at random won't do you any good. That's because the acidity and the flavor profile all depend on the bean ratio. Pretty deep, huh? Tell me more. Oh, somebody's enthusiastic. If you're really that interested, feel free to try out whatever combinations you want to. Oh, but hands off the expensive beans, got it? Next up is the curry. There's something special about its flavor. The truth is, a scientific genius actually came up with the perfect spice combo to complement my coffee. Something about the quantification of taste. There's no formula for flavor, but it is pretty damn good. Anyhow, we don't make compromises when it comes to food service. Our stuff's gotta wow the customers. This is a tiny shop, after all. Self-satisfaction is the only thing that keeps me going. You. <coughs> Haven't I already told you I don't have the money? Look at this place. You see many customers in here? Cheerfully elderly, man. Oh, no need to hide it, Sakura-san. You must have saved plenty from your time working in the government. Aren't you taking care of that employee right there, too? For nothing more than charity? I wish you'd show me the same kindness you showed others. <sighs> if you're not planning on buying anything, can you please leave? I'm expecting a phone call, so I don't have time to chat with you. I don't mind if you take the call in front of me. I can talk to your little friend here in the meantime. So, should we keep talking until your call comes in? Or would that be too inconvenient for you? Well, it looks like Sojido's in trouble. What should I do? Call his phone? Oh, there's that social services call I was waiting for. They come around pretty often to make sure this guy's not getting in any trouble. Want me to introduce you? Oh, that's right. Oh, that was smart. I have some business I need to take care of myself. I'll come back later. Who's this shady individual? Jeez. Does he really have nothing better to do? Uh, I guess I should explain what's going on. He might try and drop by when I'm not around. That man is an old acquaintance of mine who's short on cash right now. Looks pretty friendly, yeah? Don't let him fool you, it's all an act. I have to say though, I'm surprised you were quick-witted enough to pull that to pull that stuff off. You really saved me back there, thanks. I feel like my bond with Sojido is growing deeper. Yay. What? What kind of shady dealing is is Coffee Dad involved in? LeBlanc curry allows you to make curry that slightly restores SP of all allies. Oh my god! Let's make all, all right. the curry. 
bug. Get out of my face. You can make curry on days when there are ingredients for curry in the refrigerator. <laughs> oh my god! There's like a bug that's attacking my face. Like a little gnat. You will be unable to make curry during the day and after school when the cafe is open. Try cooking at night when the stove is free. Oh ho! Still, why do you poke around into other people's troubles? It's way easier to ignore them. I guess that's just the kind of person you are, though, huh? I want to help you, Coffee Dad. Is that time already? Oh, I'd report him to the cops if he wasn't related to her. Uh, never mind now that. Then. Anyway, that's it for today. Go study or something after you close up. Well, I want to make curry now. No, it was not a stink bug. Holy crap, we can just make SP items? Hey, Under. Sorry about today. Didn't mean to get you wrapped up in my problems. I probably don't have to say it, but if that guy shows up while I'm out, just try to ignore him, okay? Just let him do his thing and get on with the job, got it? Understood. Good. Whatever he says, just don't let it get to you. You're still under probation, so don't cause a scene, yeah? Alright, I'm trusting you on this later. <coughs> Excuse me. Hi. Um, well... Senpai, have you been sleeping well? You look kind of tired. It might not be my place to ask, but are you okay? I'm fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine! Yes. <laughs> Bye, Prezi. I love you so big. Rest well. Sweet dreams. See you again soon. You and your fancy artist badge. Don't forget you can buy certain sodas for SP. Machines reset Monday. They don't recover much, so they're best between fights. Okay. Sodas from like the like the vending machines? Oh, that reminds me. The school festival is tomorrow, isn't it? I had no idea that the preparations would take so much work. I underestimated it. But working with everyone to put together a festival feels great. Every put everything I don't know what I just read there. <laughs> I hope we have fun tomorrow. <laughs> Well, I'm going to do some training today, so please excuse me. <laughs> hey. The red machines. Okay. You hear who we're getting for our guest this year? Oh, you mean a catchy, right? I kind of saw that coming. Everyone I know voted for him. Didn't he say he was going to make any more... Wasn't going to make any more appearances, though? Why did he agree to come here? Probably has to do with the Phantom Thieves. Wasn't a catchy going around saying how evil they were? Oh yeah, that proves they're connected to our school somehow. You're right. Maybe he'll tell us stuff about the case. No way am I going to miss the panel this year. <sighs> they just say whatever they want with no thought. But for now, we'll just need to endure it. At least until we can get some more intel. So it's the internet. One's near the bathhouse and one's in Shibuya. Oh, yes. Hey, 8-Bit Noise, is this first day play? Uh, it's my first playthrough, if that's, if that's what you mean. I met a friend from college the other day. We got caught up talking about old times. Some of those old stories sounded too crazy to be true, now that we've got so many years behind us. <laughs> Sometimes people have a hard time remembering what's real and what's exaggerated. This kind of stuff happens to you guys too, right? But there's a reason for this. This phenomenon has a name. How about you? Scorcoon. From a psychological standpoint, what's the key reason our memories can differ from reality? Memory bias? This is it. Right. That's right. Impressive. I'm smart. It's a type of cognitive bias that can impair or even alter your memories. Specifically, the name of the phenomenon in question is called false memory. Like the name implies, it's a case where our brain may generate memories that simply aren't true. No way. Nice going! A <clears throat> hundred plus hours of gaming in a single day. I play games so fast, you guys. Hmm. SP adhesives. Where do you get those? The 
difference between inaccurate memories and the facts can lead to a lot of confusion. Still, if your subconscious desire manifests as a memory, I don't necessarily think that's a bad thing. False memories, huh? But it's totally real to the person, right? What a strange concept. It really is. Oh, our grades are out. How'd you do? Damn, I'm dead. Whew, I'm above the average. That's the real dividing line. My allowance is safe for now. I wonder what score I got. I finished a little higher than the average score. Yay! Yeah. Well, it should set a good example for your friends. Ryuji, how hard did you fail? Debonair. Any word from Akechi? Nothing. But tomorrow is the start of the school festival. Will this be okay? If Akechi-kun declines our offer, we won't have a guest. Huh? That's what you're worried about? I appreciate the concern, but it'll be fine. I just need to get Akechi-kun to agree to this somehow. Yep. What's that bastard up to anyways? He hasn't done anything since he said he was going to go into hiding. I'm not sure. I'll try to explaining the circumstances surrounding the school festival to him again. Hopefully he can give me a response by the end of the day. I'll let you know if I make any progress on that front. Hey, what's up, Sadudes? Welcome home. Uh. Hi. <laughs> Honey, I'm home! You're back awfully late. How has business been for you lately? How do Take you know I'm back late? Is the Nijima lady doing well? Unfortunately, we haven't seen each other lately. We had a difference of opinion. What are your thoughts, Representative Shino? It doesn't surprise me that people say our country okay, is Reno. lethargic. We've let these phantom thieves run amok. This is rude. I think. And because they've targeted only prominent figures, our government leaders have been hesitant to act. I apologize for any concern they may have caused, and will henceforth search for an apt countermeasure. That politician's really honorable. I like how quick he says he's gonna do everything. This is an important undertaking, and one I intend to confront with every asset available to me. The selfish criminals enacting this social reform are in fact the ones most deserving of reformation. Answering to the interests of the people as hastily as possible is my natural duty as a politician. Man, this guy is admirable. <laughs> Rampant good. political scandals, thieves on the loose. As sad as it is, this is the state of our nation. We must resolve this problem. And I assure the people of this noble country that I will do just that. What are you standing there staring off into space for? You're creeping me out. God, I can't be on my phone. I can't just watch TV. I can't, like, sit, just stand here. Coffee Dad, get off my back. If I'm not studying, he's like, what are you doing? <laughs> You're standing too. Standing here is my job. That politician is honest and carries an overwhelming amount of charisma. It feels like a trustworthy leader for Japan has finally wow, come Wow, this forth. guy's a plant. Don't you think, boss? Sorry, wasn't listening. Hmm? Criminals, hmm? Well, that must be how he sees it. However, that is ignorant of their true nature. You on the deep side? Maybe somewhat of a stretch to say I'm on their side. Having said that, I won't deny that I empathize with them on some level. If this Sukumura incident was not the Phantom Thieves, if they only changed the hearts of criminals, then even though they can't be considered innocent, perhaps my goals are not so different from theirs. He looks like y Light Yagami. He's the one with the death note. Are you a fanboy? 
I knew there was something special about you. Ever since the first time we met, I feel as though I could tell you anything during our conversations. Oh, that reminds me. I've been invited to a panel at Shujin Academy, and... Ah, uh, wait. I'm sure you know that already. Considering it's such a good opportunity, I've decided to accept the offer. Thank you for the coffee. It was delicious. Glad you liked it. I'm happy I could see you. I'll be going now. <laughs> it's like, next time, don't give away my number. That kid was going on about some real complicated stuff. He's probably a fair bit smarter than you, huh? Coffee Dad just getting on me. <clears throat> oh, I didn't notice I had gotten a response from Akechi-kun. He accepted the lecture invitation. I heard. Really? Either way, the real issue is what we do next. The lecture is on the afternoon of the second day, yes? <laughs> the second day? So Tuesday? Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna, yeah, Tuesday, you <laughs> Wait, you're coming to our school festival? It's during my exam week, so I'll be able to go in the afternoon. Can you afford that distraction? How's your studying going? Decently. Incidentally, will that counselor be at the, <laughs> at the festival as well? Oh, Dr. Maruki? Probably. You need some counseling, Yusuke? I see. Finally, I shall witness his skills for myself. Perhaps I should prepare a gift. They say first impressions are everything. Is he getting sweet on Maruki? What is happening? I don't know if he'll even be there. If anything gets confirmed, I'll drop you a line. Much obliged. You want to come too, Futaba? Come on, it'll be fun. Seriously? I don't see why not. We should all walk around together tomorrow. <laughs> you know, because we're trying to lay low. <laughs> let's all hang out. Uh, let's not. This is the perfect chance for us to relax, though. Uh, ah! Thank you, Carol. I appreciate it. Thank you for the hundred bits. Hope you're doing well today. Thanks for hanging out. Akechi is asking Scorkoon out for the school festival, yes. Haru, um, you sure you're okay? This seems a little soon. I am, thank you. I've just always dreamed of walking around my school festival with my friends. Oh! I suppose if you say it like that, I can resign myself to enjoying our time there, too. Thanks, Haru. It's my pleasure. Yo. Another box came for you. Yeah, it's our box from the black market. Yeah. All the, all the, the black market drinks. Oh, yeah, you bought stuff from Shady Commodities. Don't say that too loud. Oh, man. I want to help her so bad. Okay, um... Monday evening... Kawakami only works on, what, Fridays and Saturdays? Oh. Hi. Yeah. Oh no, we- Oh, we gotta do the metaverse. I can't do the metaverse unless I have free time, like, after school. Uh, can we make curry? Maybe we should do that when we don't have anything else to do. Hey! Oh, that's right. We can't do it while there's customers here. Okay, let's go hang out with, um... With her. Right, Jessamy. Yes. Good evening. The gold's key to victory lies in retreating. This means at times retreating is an effective strategy in order to attack with your next move. It may be good for you to remember that as well. Okay. What are you trying to say? I'd like to teach you shogi at different locations from time to time to change up the mood. Um... Somewhere outside, without too many people, there may not be many such places. Well then, shall we play a match today? Better to the park. I look That's an excellent to idea. I know it's sudden, but I'd like you to take me there. I might be able to think of a good move. You don't let your mom see me taking you to the park. At night. <laughs> yes, I feel like I can play shogi at a different pace here. The scenery, the sounds, the smells. Her mom is going to shank me. 
I'll be able to utilize all five of my senses. Perhaps I'll even come up with some new ideas. You use your senses in Shogi? Yes. Indeed, Shogi isn't only about using one's brains. You must use your senses to identify all possibilities, including your best moves. I've opened up new opportunities through Shogi. You are like a Shogi piece filled with endless moves. I wonder what kind of person you will become. Just imagining all the possibilities is fun. I'm starting to get the feel that a new move will come to me. Well then. Now that we feel refreshed, let us play fair and square. She always okay. says, like, fair Let's and square, or let's have an honest match. Like, either she cheats, or she's used to playing against someone who cheats. Oh, look at everything decorated for the, the festival. festival. seems to be a success. There's definitely a lot more people than last year. Well, yeah. This place got famous and all. Phantom Thieves, Kamoshida, Principal Kobayakawa... On top of that, we got a catchy as a guest. There may be police officers in plain clothes, too. Actually, they probably are here. We better be careful about what we discuss. Acting like normal students is going to be important. What do you Says normally do at a school cat. festival? Look around at the exhibits and eat stuff? Yeah! There's no set rules for this kind of thing. Walk around and hang out, like when we went to the beach. Oh god, the beach. Uh... Just enjoy yourself. I think I can do it if I've got everyone with me. You're so laid back. There's a possibility that your name and Ryuji's have come up. A number of the teachers had been questioned before, and even we were interviewed the other day, too. Don't let your guard down too much. It's true that the initial members have been at this for a long time, making it easier to get tracked. All right. Behave yourself, for you. Now, two. now, let's leave it at that. We just need to be mindful about what we're saying, correct? Oh, um... <sighs> you seem to be having quite a lot of fun, Haru. You did mention that you were looking forward to this. I want to go around with everyone and eat at the refreshment stands. Yeah! This will be a great change of pace from all man. the nasty stuff lately. Shall we head off to the stands mm, then? Fair food's best food. All right. This is your first time at our school festival. They're pretty good, from what I've heard. I know a great one. Follow me. On knows all the hot spots. This is the place. Takoyaki! Made takoyaki? New customers! I'll show you all to your seats. Made a takoyaki! So, your classes stand? It's still a refreshment stand, isn't it? It's like a deserted island here. Well, I guess it's good for talking since there aren't any people here. <laughs> Except for the maid there who's like, you know, we heard a lot probably of a cop in disguise. Even on our way here. And it was all bullshit. Here she comes. Act normal. Who cares? There's nothing normal about this anymore. Oh my god, Ryuji. Welcome home. May I take your order? Take my order? W what happened to the maid atmosphere? There are a lot of odd flavors. Stick to a normal one. I bet they- Maid atmosphere. She walked up like this. That's- <laughs> That's like- <laughs> There's your maid atmosphere. You want her to call you master? I'm so sorry. We sold our last normal one to the previous customer. The hell? Well then, I'll have the mentai cheese takoyaki. I'm sorry. We're out of right. cash, though. Then how about the squid? Um, we're currently out catching squid. It'll probably take another five or six hours. That doesn't even sound remotely possible. Ain't this whole menu just a sham? Actually, we spent most of our budget on making the maid costumes look nice. We didn't put too much effort into the octopus. Oh, I can see that. Ryuji, you're making a scene. Then, what would you recommend with what you have now? 
There you go, Haru. Probably the Russian takoyaki. We'll have that, please. This will take a little time. Uh, let's forget about the octopus and get back on topic. On that note, hearing Kamoshida being almost treated like a victim makes me want to eat my stress away. I've even heard <laughs> conjecture that the principal was targeted for reasons like he knew too much. I kept hearing about Goro Akechi's popularity. All thanks to the Phantom Thieves. You know, did that Akechi guy agree to show up here because he believes we didn't kill anybody? Or he may I simply love large gatherings. Oh, true. He didn't seem like he minded being pampered by the media at all. We plan on stealing intel, but we might fall into another trap. I'm gonna be bummed if that happens. <laughs> Is the takoyaki done yet? <sighs> oh my god. I know, we need to call Kawakami. She's not gonna do anything. She doesn't work. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you are so carefree. Does it mean that you have nerves of steel in any situation? No, it means I'm hungry. Still, it doesn't change the fact We're that we don't know what Akechikun is planning. Thank you for the wait. Ooh, it's fresh made. Lies, I heard a microwave go off. <laughs> well, it's not like I was expecting crispy takoyaki at a school festival or anything. So, what makes this a Russian takoyaki? Could there be Ryuji is unimpressed. As a secret ingredient? That sounds quite delicious. Well, one of these is special. Uh, one of them's obviously red. That's gotta be the one. Dude, don't tell me the Russian part means... It's like, going for the obvious one is manly. Uh. Is that so? Well, I'd prefer the most beautifully shaped one. <laughs> but all of them are misshapen. Oh, are wow. you all going to eat? I think I'll go for the special one. Haru is amazing. Wait, is she honestly going for it? Oh my god. Do you want to go for the red one? I do, but Haru said she wanted it, so... Think it'll be spicy? Uh, well, yeah. So it's like Russian roulette, oh, but with takoyaki everyone's balls. Everyone's all here. With ill-shapen takoyaki balls. The, These are our takoyaki balls. <laughs> Way of catchy. I came to check out the venue. I can't make any mistakes since a lot of people will be present. Someone's eager. But people ended up recognizing me. Everyone bombarded me with questions. Dude, our takoyaki's getting cold. <laughs> tell, tell this loser to get I grew tired of the baseless away. rumors they kept bringing up. So I escaped to where there weren't any people. Let's go back to the, that buffet. Oh my god, it's time to right. have one of these. What? Okay. A special one. Let's just call this my performance fee. But it's fine. Mm. <laughs> it's quite the. <laughs> Eating it in one bite is a bad idea. <gasps> my throat. This is. We didn't order a drink. <sighs> Oh, my stomach. It burns. Are you okay? Do you need water? Uh, 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 I'm, I'm fine. Uh, I just love uh, spicy, uh, spicy stuff. <laughs> hey, does he sound broken to you? <laughs> well then, I'll, I'll see you. Uh, that's what you get for Tomorrow. stealing one of our takoyaki balls, jerk. Wow, he's really trying to hold it together. He's waddling around like some comedian. It's like he wants to get picked up for some commercial or something. But did he truly come to simply check the venue? This isn't good. I keep suspecting every little thing. Oh my god. I know what you mean. I'm doing the same too. I need to do my best tomorrow. We need to somehow get him to be our source of intel. I'm gonna pull this off no matter what. That Akechi guy, when he got here, didn't he say that everyone's all here? Everyone? 
Oh. You're here just imagining things. That is odd. <laughs> yeah, he's not a very good detective. So, I guess we got through all of it okay? Yes, but the associated mental fatigue was extraordinary. <laughs> Being cautious takes a lot out of you. Seriously, I think I'm as tired now as I am after midterms. I didn't mind any of that. I just love seeing that detective gulp down the special takoyaki. Yes. I had fun as well, since I got to spend time with you all. Oh, Haru! What would you like to I do now, her. Haru? Walk around a little more? I appreciate the gesture, but I'm satisfied with stopping here. Why don't we go home and rest up? We'll have to deal with Akechi-kun again tomorrow, after all. I have to agree. What will his next move be? Oh? Wait. Oh, under. Yusuke's missing. What? Oh, no. Yusuke got kidnapped. Uh, where did he wander off to? Always doing whatever he pleases. Think he's still checking out all the festival stalls? Let's head back. Well, I'm sure he'll be fine. This is Yusuke we're talking about. Let's head home. Oh, no. What? Oh, yeah! He wanted to see Maruki. Excuse me, you are Dr. Takuto Maruki, correct? Uh, yes. Yeah. I. My name is Yusuke Kitagawa. I am a student in the Fine Arts Division at Kosei High. I do apologize for interrupting your day, but ever since Ryuji and An first spoke of you, I've grown quite intrigued. Now I wish to speak with you as well. Ryu... Oh, Sakamoto-kun and Tama... Takamaki-san. Quite. Well, I'm flattered that you've taken an interest in me. You're here about the counseling, correct? Indeed. Correct. Why are you being creepy, Yusuke? Now teach me how to unshackle the human heart and glimpse into its endless abyss. <laughs> hold on. Whoa, whoa, hold on there. Uh, how should I put this? Your enthusiasm is appreciated, but I suspect there's a huge misunderstanding about what I do. I apologize. I simply couldn't contain my excitement. Would you still permit me to witness your counseling skills in action? That's not really allowed. How about it? Oh, but how about this? Why not try out my counseling yourself instead? Me? Of course, there's no charge. All you'd have to do is chat with me for a bit. Well then. Very well. You and I shall go head to head. <laughs> I'm not sure what you think happens in counseling, but uh, there won't be any of that. I see. So you were Matarame sans. It's in the past. How curious. I never imagined counseling to be like this. Well, uh. Well, I'd say this is less counseling and more about building a rapport. When someone first comes to see me, we always start with them telling me a bit about themselves. Hmm. A method of self-reflection that relies on speaking with another person so as to sort through one's own emotions. That's rather similar to the internal cross-examination I perform when working on my art. There really shouldn't be any cross-examining in a proper counseling session, though. I just do my best to guide patients in a positive direction so they can improve their lives. At the very least, I talk them through their problems so they can make the correct choices for themselves. I see. Hi, Jake. However, if you're the one leading them to their conclusions, are they truly making the choices for themselves? Isn't that just submitting to another person's will? In all honesty, I'm sure there are people out there who think that. But life in this world confines people to certain frames of mind sometimes and without them even realizing it, true. And I can help lift the weight off their shoulders and free their minds. I believe the results are worth it. Indeed. Thank you. Thank you very much for speaking with me. This has been a most valuable experience. Oh, yes. Before you go, Kitagawa-kun, what would you say is your greatest wish in life at the moment? Would it be success as an artist? I... No, that's not it. The only desire I have for my art is to... is for it to improve through my own efforts. I see. Then what would you wish for? I would wish for the world to see my mother's painting for the masterpiece that it is, no matter how briefly. Aww. And if at all possible, I would also wish to meet a wonderful master, one who would take me in and guide my brush with care. Hmm. I see. All right. 
At any Thank rate, you. I must be going now, so please excuse me. I hope we can meet again soon. Stubby drink? Yes. Well then. Tomorrow's the moment of truth, Akechi's panel. Apologies for suddenly disappearing like that. The legend of the lost Inari has come to an end. Where the hell were you? Did you suddenly, seriously get lost? I saw a man who resembled Dr. Maruki, so I went to see him. So he was there? Did you go to his counseling? Yes, it was certainly not what I was expecting. Once this is all over, I think I'd like to go to another session. Try not to cause him any trouble, all right? I'll do my best. Are you all at home? I'm at home. Are you still at school, Yusuke? No, I just got back to the dorm. I'm getting ready for bed. Already? Is that unusual? Tomorrow is Akechi Kun's panel, after all. An early night means he'll be able to concentrate tomorrow. That's true. We'll need to stay focused tomorrow. We have to stay calm no matter what he says. Right, I'll keep that in mind. <sighs> it's really up to Makoto to get as much information as we can from Akechi. We'll have to make sure we don't miss anything. Oh my goodness. Photo time! <gasps> at the festival? Photo time! This is when we were at the food stand. Oh, cute! Oh my god, that is a giant pile of noodles and I want it so bad. Oh my gosh. Man, even yakisoba looks high class when Haru's eating it. Please, you're exaggerating. I think this is my first time having yakisoba from a food stand, though. It was more delicious than I'd imagined. Everything's good from a food stand. It was. It wasn't the instant stuff, but still good. Yeah, I don't know why, but food from a stall is always weirdly tasty. Speaking of, where are the pictures of us, on? Hmm? You got pics of us too, right? How about the one you took of Unders yakisoba with the big red mountain of ginger? Oh! No, that one went straight into the trash. I had dry seaweed all over my teeth. <gasps> oh my god! I wanna... Can I make the picture bigger? How do I make it bigger? Oh, it's so cute! Futaba was so happy! <gasps> yes. Can I go outside? Hey! Ah, crap. Fine. Fine! Can I... Make curry? Hmm. We're out of curry ingredients. Fine! Alright, we'll just, we'll just leave it there. For today. Best menus. <laughs> no curry. We'll get that. We'll get our curry. Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh my gosh. I already grew rich in mementos. We beat the Reaper, and I got like 10 levels and like 300,000 yen. It was amazing. Oh my goodness. Thank you guys. I'm gonna have to end it there for today, but uh, we'll play again tomorrow. And the next day. And the next day. <laughs> oh my goodness. Thank you guys. Thank you for hanging out today. I really appreciate it. Um, like I said, I'll be back uh, tomorrow with more Persona 5 Royal. Uh, we'll be playing it on Friday as well. Uh, Saturday we'll be revisiting A Stranger of Paradise. Because uh, I got it on PC. So I want to uh, continue it on, <laughs> on a more powerful console than PS4. Because that's what we played it on uh, at first. And it was not the best port. So I want to check it out on PC. Uh, so we will, we will pick up where we left off uh, in that game. So 
It'll be fun. Oh man, I'm loving, I'm loving Persona 5 Royal. I'm glad we came back to this game. I'm gonna be so happy to finally finish it. Holy heck. It's gonna take us a while, but we'll get there. Um, thank you to everybody new who showed up and hung out today. I really appreciate it. It was a lot of fun hanging out with you guys. And I, I know we gotta help Kawakami. We're so close. We're so close. She's back to being a maid again. We have to, we have to get to the metaverse. We haven't had an opportunity to get to the metaverse. Um, we gotta change their hearts. Thank you, Wing. It was good to see you. Thank you for hanging out. Um, I'm gonna pop my socials uh, and then my second YouTube channel, uh, which has all of my Twitch VODs in the chat. So if you wanna check out any of those, if you wanna join our Discord server, please feel free. We've got tons of channels in there for different anime and video games. So feel free to come in and join the discussion or whatever you want. We got a food section in there and music and health and all kinds of cool stuff. So. Uh, thank you guys. It was so much fun. And uh, I will see you guys on Mr. P's cooking stream uh, very soon. I, I think it's starting early today because of d, &D. Uh, We're going to have mussels. Oh, it's going to be so good. And, uh, and yeah. So, fun times. Good stuff. Wow, that ended abruptly. Sorry. Okay. I love you guys. Uh, thank you, Ankh, Phil, Green Luther, Ren, 8-Bit Noise. Thank you guys so much, Ren. Thank you. I love you so much. Okay. Be good. Okay? You guys be good. And uh, I will see you tomorrow. Have a beautiful evening. Go with love and stay peachy. Bye.